This music. Technology of tomorrow. See the guy who's going to get killed. Did it lock? Oh shit. He in the microwave! The technology of tomorrow. Today. Aww. Murder suspected in death of Niko Jovic. Hello? Hey, you made it. Good. Video chat? Didn't tell me much earlier. What's the story? You'll find all the information in Nico's desk drawer. The combination is 171943. Got it. Got I it. Need full access to the lab <laughs> and a cover. For the cover, say you're doing due diligence for a new investor. I'll back you up if anyone asks. But full access to the lab? No. It's too dangerous. No. If I can't investigate everything, I might have a problem on my hands. All right. I'll have Ellie set up a demo for you. But that's it. The equipment in this lab is extremely dangerous. Got it. Approach the case how you want, but I think I know where you should start. Ryan, the police really thought she might be behind Nico's murder. This sounds so familiar. They just couldn't prove it. She built the machine that killed him. And supposedly she'd threatened him. Start there. I've got to leave the office. If you need me, I'll be on my phone. He sounds a bit like but good um... luck. Stay safe, and please help me do right by Nico. He was a brilliant scientist and a good man. It's not at all. I I, I doubt it's actually him, but I, <laughs> he sounds a bit like Billy West. I think that's his name, right? The guy who does like Futurama voices. He sounds like that a little bit. Like the the Star Trek captain in Futurama. Investigate Ryan. Read the case file. Okay. Hello. It looks like it's missing <gasps> the opening mechanism. Crinkle bars! Isn't that one for the bingo already? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Let's see, what do we got? Any interesting books? Apparently not. Need a key for that. There's a book missing, I think. Interesting. What is this? Well, apparently nothing. Pigeon! Polly, you want a cracker? Crawlmeister! We need to fix this. We are doing good on our bingo already. This must be the drawer where Victor put the case file. One seven one nine four three. Oh, it, I was clicking on the note, but... Uh, okay. The victim is Niko Jovic, 61 years old. Theoretical physicist, co-owner of Technology of Tomorrow Today facility. Body discovered in Tesla coil lab by Ellie York. Okay, so Ellie found the body. Body removed by coroner. Cause of death confirmed as electrocution by high voltage discharge of the Tesla coil. Damn, that's very specific. Well done, well done, coroner. Uh, victim was widely acclaimed as a genius in his field, known to have poor social skills, don't we all? Perceived as unfriendly or uncaring, even antagonistic by co-workers. Never married, nor no immediate family living. Uh, crime scene evidence, victim's expertise and decades of experience in wireless energy, and the high-level sa safety features built into the Tesla coil's operating procedure indicate against victim's death as a workplace accident. Victim's death is therefore regarded as suspicious. Okay. 
personnel. We have Mason, Ellie, Ryan, Gray, and Victor. Okay. Uh, research, research assistant Mason claims to have been on a date at the time of death, but according to his dates, they parted by 10.30. Okay. Um, dislike of victim evident during questioning. Ellie is the, another research assistant. She was on site at the time of death. Called 911. Okay. Left town the following evening. Oh, she left town? Ryan, technical engineer, stated that she was driving back to the lab from Colorado Springs at time of death. Appeared distraught, evasive, and nervous during questioning. Built the machine that killed victim. Ooh. Gray is the head of security. On site at time of death. Recalcitrant? I don't know. I'm guessing. And unfriendly towards police. Refused to speak of his relationship with the victim. Co-workers seemed uncertain as to how he has continued to keep his position. Uh, then there's Victor is a co-owner. Oh, so Victor and Nick Nico were co-owners. Overseas business and financial decisions. Stated he was working alone in the office at time of death. So Victor and Ellie were there. The night he died and mason says he wasn't there but doesn't really check out okay suspect questioning failed to provide an ironclad alibi for any employee keycard log records indicate another entry shortly before victim's death but security video obtained from head security showed no one entering lab from the time of victim's entrance until after his time of death maybe someone altered the tapes the keycard used to enter the lab after victim has not been recovered from premises and does not match any keycard ID in the logs. Oh, maybe they made a, a new one. So it couldn't be traced back to them. It is believed the power surge occurred on site as a result of coil tests being run shortly before victim's death, causing a glitch in the log system. Witness statements and crime scene evidence just Ryan Kilpatrick... Kilpatrick? <gasps> Ryan Kilpatrick! <laughs> As the prime suspect. She was arrested and brought to the police station for interrogation. After a lengthy questioning, Ryan Kilpatrick was released due to lack of concrete evidence, but remains a person of interest. No further leads at this time. Case remains open, unsolved. Crime scene de decontaminated and labs, office, and surrounding rooms restored to pre-incident state. Personal belongings of victim recovered as evidence, including files and experiment notes shall remain in police possession for further investigation scientific equipment has been released back to the lab secured site reopened to scientific use nancy here are the notes from the police investigation keep the contents to yourself do not remove it from nico's office if anyone should discover the file on you your cover would be blown victor okay Ooh. Mm, I looked there. Oh, there's something on that desk. Can I go... No, I can't go around the desk from this side. Okay. What else we got? Um, I should probably get in the habit of saving. <laughs> Kill Patrick? Don't click that. <laughs> What's happening? Hello, Nancy. I forgot to tell you. We've been having a lot of outages lately. Funny you mention that. I think you're having one right now. It's nothing to worry about. We've got backup on the big systems. Most of the time, Gray can get things back online in an hour. Occasionally, it takes a while. An but hour? Rarely does it come close to the critical window. Critical window? Some of the equipment can get unruly when the power supply isn't consistent. Damn. Don't worry about it, though. Take the time to get settled. Catch up on sleep. All right. Gotta run. It's so dark. Okay, what's that? I can't see a thing. Ugh, come on. Ow, my toe. <laughs> oh, it's her stumbling into everything. <laughs> Oh, oops. Did I just go to bed? <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> this was not what I expected when I set the alarm. Oops. Hey, the light's back on at least. Oh. You, Hi. come with me. What's going on? No chit chat. Come, now. 
We need to get the system shut down before the grid goes critical. Okay. Get all those switches powered off. I'll do the rest. Powered off, okay. Uh, what do I click? I can't click anything. That's done. Did that. Oh, this one works. Could this have been used to keep the power on? I need to keep this together with any other evidence I find. Okay. Oh, now we can do it. Okay. So we need to turn everything off, he said, right? Oh, so everything needs to be... So that's green. Oh, wait. That did it. Low... So it cycles through them. Oh, it goes up as well. Oh, dang it. Shit. Oh, how? Okay, so it cycles through green. Wait. Nothing. Red. Green. Nothing. Okay, so these are both green. Oh, dear lord. How the heck? Oh, this is very complicated. Okay. These are the tricky ones, because... These, you can kind of like contain to this, but these are gonna go back down again. Wait, this might be good. Oh, so I'm back! <laughs> I'm back where I was! <laughs> no! I just have two that move around, but... At the very least, I need to activate three, right? Wait, wait, wait. These are all similar colors now. I could probably use that in my advantage. To my advantage. Oh, wait. I'm starting to... I'm starting to see. Because it's... It's off red, green, off. So this one is going to turn off next, right? Yeah. Okay. Most of them on green, some of them on red. That means that the red ones need two flicks of the switch, the green one only one. It's like it's on the tip of my brain! <laughs> Corn center is four corners, three sides are two. Yeah, the problem is this one, right? These are gonna all overlap. Oh! Nice work. Now get it. <sighs> Who are you? What just happened? If the grid had gone critical, we'd all be dead right now. I'm Gray. I don't care who you are. Don't tell me. Get out! Okay, rude. Brain is already broke. Oh, here he is. Don't know you. Who let you in? But we've already met. In the lab? Never mind. I'm Nancy. I'm here doing research for a new owner. Just what this place needs. You're not a fan of the idea? Nope. Why not? Not a fan of most ideas. So you never have ideas? Because you don't like them? That's a strange attitude for someone who works at a research facility. You tell him, Nancy. <laughs> Might be. 
That's it? What do you do here? Job description says security agent. Suppose it's more valid than not. How long have you worked here? Don't know. Can you estimate? Mm, nah. You're really not going to tell me how long you've worked here? So it would seem. Goodbye. Bye. Rude? That's the thing on his armchair or arm that arm of his chair. <laughs> Good job, me. <laughs> Shortening sky is alive. Fishies 015 unlock all binaries. In five charges when fully powered, stations send out additional charges in all directions. Hmm. There's an F here too. F Z R. I think they're gonna be important. I'll take a picture. Are there any other? Oh, there HQ as well. Nancy's just standing there like ka -ching, ka -ching, taking pictures of everything. Oh, I can't grab that. Oh, oh, V sneaky. He has a nice shirt on. I was looking at those dots. I feel like that's gonna be something too. Oh no, no! <laughs> My worst enemy! Elevator? Anything behind us? Hmm, loose cable. Is this the thing, the place we were at before? I need to find the power knob before I can use it. Oh, okay. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Hello kids, you too can get your face on the box. Details inside. Smiley faces. Ha ha, wee! <laughs> Wait, uh, no, nothing behind. Out of order, oh god, how are we gonna survive? What's this? Hmm, can't read any of it. I can't read. Do not move. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Hi there, Mr. T. Aggregation high scores. Uh, how do we play? Clear the board by matching three or more pieces of the same color. Okay. Pieces must be adjacent either vertically or horizontally. Okay, not diagonally. You can send a piece out from any of the four tracks surrounding the board if it will hit another piece already on the board or a wall. Send a piece out. Next piece shows you what's coming up on the track. Okay. Wild can be used to match any color. Wall stops a piece. Shield requires an extra match. Bomb destroys surrounding pieces. Okay, clone. Count down and makes a copy. Okay, so we move this in. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you need to clear the center. Okay, okay, got it, got it. And the, the, oh yeah. And the orange one can only go from this side. Gotcha. Hmm. Oh, but now I have to add this one. Interesting. I'm a little confused about the order because it says next, but like I can do purple if I want to. I can do purple if I want to. Suck on that. Hmm. Ha. Huh. If I move one of these in, I can finish up orange at least. 
Hmm. What should I do? Oh, now I'm starting to get it. So I shoved in the purple one. So you can use whatever's on the board, but then that one that you shove is going to be re replaced with the one that's next. I get it. Hmm, these are tricky. I could do this. But now I have orange. Oh, another. Oh, right. Oh, I gotta be careful which way I shoot from. I see. Ah, uh, if I want this angle, I have to shoot the green. Yay! Ooh, what's that? Barriers? Oh, color thingy. Meshes with any color. Oh, that's not very handy, is it? I do not have... Oh, God. The skill to look ahead. Okay, so now it's going to be a yellow after this. So I should shoot this one so I can do this one. And now we have a green coming. Ah, oh, but I want to... Oh, you can't shoot it if there's nothing in that route. Oh, so I have to. I see. I was hoping to clear out the yellow first, but... That's pretty good. Oh, this is going to get tricky. Okay. Next one is purple. Okay. I could probably shoot these two purples and then make three. But how do I make sure they connect? So I could shoot. I don't know if it works through the wall. Nope. <laughs> That sucks. Okay, that's good. Those are set up now. Hmm, what do I want to do? I have three of these. That I could get rid of. Ooh, next one is blue. So what can I... What can I do? Ah, oh, I fucked myself over. No! Okay, let's get rid of these. After this one, I'll stop. <laughs> um, okay, I have a blue. If I do this, that might work. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Interesting. Tell me more. Okay, getting there. If I can get rid of this bit. Oh. Tricky. No, I don't want blue. If only I could bring this one closer to this yellow one, then they would be done. Wait, yeah. I just need to get rid of this purple. Hmm. That's not gonna help me, but whatever. There. Now I need light blue. Oh, this is getting real tricky now. Hmm. Do that. Oh, the next two are dark blue. I wish I could see more about what's next. Like, see the next three or four. That would be great. Then I could plan a little bit more. Next one's green. Oh, I messed up. I thought the green was going to be there. Oh, another one. I keep having to muddy it up with a new color. Which I don't want. Wait, that already- oh! It used the star, I wasn't meaning to. Ho ho! Did you see that? Ho ho ho! But light blue though, I have nothing. The stars have aligned! Okay, I will probably call it there. <laughs> it's getting too hard. <laughs> oh, I got pretty far! Nice! Okay. Um, what else we got? Can't check out the table. Can I... Reduce stress, bang head here, repeat as necessary. <laughs> B.S. has B.O.? Hey, how did that end up in here too? What? Oh, it's Easter egg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Tesla. Oh, Nikola Tesla demonstrates wireless transfer of energy. Nikola Tesla was a genius, visionary, and inventor who left an in inedible. I thought it was inedible. <laughs> He left an inedible mark. Indelible mark on the world. With 700 patents to his name, Tesla broke new ground in research and design to usher in a second industrial revolution. Many of today's technologies are based on Tesla's design. Tesla was born on July 10th, 1856 in Smiljan in the Austro-Hungarian province of Lika. I had no idea. Modern day Croatia. Oh, to Serbian parents. He showed signs of genius at an early age. His ability to solve complex mathematical and mechanical problems in his head helped him come up with his inventions. 
One of his first inventions was a bladeless water wheel, an early version of the famous Tesla turbine, which when he was only five years old, what? No way. <laughs> They're making this shit up. 1884, Tesla arrived in New York with just four cents and a letter of introduction to Thomas Edison in his pocket. The letter from the inventor Charles Batchelor stated, My dear Edison, I know two great men and you are one of them. The other is this young man. From the first interview, Edison recognized Tesla's talent and promptly hired him to help improve Edison's direct current d- dynamos, promising a $50,000 bonus should Tesla succeed. That's a lot of money for that time. What? These civilities were not to last. Despite their shared genius, the two men were unlike as possible. Self-taught Edison worked by trial and error and backed DC power, while Tesla fully visualized his inventions before building them and believed that AC was the future of electricity. Right, AC versus DC. The breakup came when Tesla, having fixed the DC dynamos, went to claim his bonus. Edison declared the offer had been just a joke. Tesla quit. That's so mean, Edison. Now free to focus on AC power, but lacking the needed funds, Tesla was forced to dig ditches to make ends meet. This ended when industrialist George Westinghouse bought the AC polyphase patents Tesla had filed. Tesla and Westinghouse partnered to face off against Edison in an electrical battle that became known as the War of the Currents. Ah yeah, I've heard of this. Tesla's genius wasn't restricted to AC. He was- oh yeah, AC is alternate current, right? Uh, wait, what was DC then? Dynamic current? He was also the inventor of radio, though history books continue to give that credit to Guglielmo Marconi. Marconi. Tesla's first radio patents were filed in 1897 and granted in 1900. Direct current. Oh. Um, Mark. Sony's Marsoni or Marconi? I would say Marsoni. Marsoni's radio patents weren't filed until November 1900 and were initially refused because they infringed on Tesla's existing patents. 1904, for unconfirmed reasons, Tesla's patents were reversed and the radio patent was given to Marsoni. Ironically, after Tesla's death in 1943, whoa, he died during the Second World War, the Supreme Court would restore the radio patent to Tesla for purely political reasons. That's mean. Radio was just one of Tesla's innovations. His creations included the induction motor, a remote-controlled toy boat that foreshadowed robotics, the Tesla coil in his Colorado Springs lab, the first AC hydroelectric power plant at Niagara Falls, the Tesla turbine engine, engine, fluorescent lights, the doomed wireless energy transmitter called Wardenclyffe Tower, one of the first plants for radar, and even a proposed death beam. Death beam for military use. Oh, right, because in... um. Isn't it Command and Conquer, the game? You build like deadly Tesla coils? <laughs> uh, but Tesla's genius came at a price. He cared more about inventing than making money and often ran out of funds as a result. He only had a few close friends, one of whom was Mark Twain. He had a pathological fear of germs, an obsession with the number three, was repulsed by the sight of pearls and suffered from visions throughout his life. Hmm. He had a strong attachment to pigeons, particularly a white one he cared for in his room. He outlived his fame, dying in 1943 alone in his room at a hotel New Yorker. That's so sad. After Tesla's death, the FBI seized his paperwork and possessions, eventually releasing them in 1952. Still, theories abound that more was found in the hotel room than has ever been released. One of the most celebrated personalities of the 19th century, Tesla saw his star fade during his lifetime. Eclipsed in history, his legacy remains in the technology that runs the world today. From the electricity in our homes, to the motors running our machines, to futuristic visions made reality, Nikola Tesla lives on all around us. Hmm. List of patents. Oh, this is going to be important, isn't it? This, this is a lot of numbers and dates. I'm going to take a picture. Um, anything else? No. <laughs> the bed, the bed linen is Coco Kringle. <laughs> this is really nice. I like the plants hanging up. Think there's anything in the fridge? Nope. Oh. No, can't look at it. Nope. Okay. Oh, we came from here. Oh, okay, so that's his office. 
Snoop the security booth. Can't check that off yet. Check. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Can't the check that off yet. The login irregularity. View the security video. Haven't done that. Meet Can't everyone. Can't check that off yet. Okay, where are these people? Where are you hiding? Hello? 15 things you never knew about electricity. Binary buster. First electric lighthouse was the Statue of Liberty. What? What? An electric eel can produce 60, 150, six, six, 650 volt shock. The largest electrical blackout to date cut power to over 600 million people in India, 2012. Oh, that's quite recent. You can light up a burnt out fluorescent bulb in your hand using a Tesla coil. Lighting can carry up to 1 billion volts. The phenomenon called St. Elmo's fire is actually luminous plasma around the grounded object in an electrical field. Voltage doesn't kill people, current kills people. Currents as low as 60 milliampers can be lethal. Lightning rod was invented by Benjamin Franklin and the bifocals. Fireflies are 90% more efficient at producing light than incandescent light bulbs. Ah. Silver is the best metal for conducting electricity. Good to know. Followed by copper, then gold. Humphrey Davy invented an electric light bulb in 1802, more than 70 years before Edison. Oh. The first electric car was built in... Eight no! 1828? First electric car? That must have been a very slow car. Static electricity was first described in the 6th century BCE by Tales of Miletus. Static electricity. Oh, all right, okay. Gone adapter, there's 12 different standard outlet plugs around the world. Nikola Tesla created the longest ever man-made lightning bolt at a record 130 feet. Oh, that must have been amazing to witness. Replace standard light bulbs with compact fluorescence. What are these dots over it? This has been a zero announcement. Oh, I see. Three red and one blue is one. Then that's two, three. So these four dot combinations are numbers. Four red is zero. Four blue is 15. I see. Take picture. That's gonna come back. Okay. What do I have in my evidence? Oh, I see. Okay. Whoa, that's an ominous looking door. <laughs> What's that? I wanna look at the case. Anyone in here? Someone's typing. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mason's not very forgiving. Where are you Can talking? I help you? Oh, where what were you? you here? School? Actually, I'm checking the lab out for a new potential owner. Oh yeah, Nancy, right? Yes. Ellie, Victor wanted me to show you the coil. I guess you could say you're lucky. Most people never get to see the inside of the lab. And we're not exactly up to giving tours, considering. Ready? Okay. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Is this the coil that was responsible for Nico's death? Yes. It's been rewired since that night. It never should have been set up that way in the first place. Hmm. Why was it wired that way? There must have been a reason, right? Now, I need you to focus on what we are doing. It's very dangerous. What you're in right now is called a Faraday cage. Well, how does it work? Basically, it conducts the electricity away from whatever is inside it, keeping you safe. Here we go! Damn. Okay. Scary. Okay, that's it. Back <laughs> to the office. And this is how we killed the man. Thanks for the demo. Any chance you could let me look around in the lab sometime? Nope. Can you tell me what you do at the lab? In plain terms, I'm a research scientist. How long have you worked here? Some days feels like decades. I don't actually know. Two years? Maybe a bit less. Do oh. you share the office? In a way. 
Mason's station is over there. He's in during the day. You said the coil should never have been wired the way it was the night Nico died. Why not? Wiring the secondary and primary coils together is a good way to get yourself killed. Or someone else. Are you sure it was Ryan? Yes. Why would she do that? She said Nico insisted. Does that sound like something Nico would do? I never understood him. But if he was even a fraction as smart as his work leads me to believe, why would he do something so dangerous? Is there a way into the lab without a key card? No. Trust me, I've tried. I'm not great at remembering to bring my card, and Gray does not like letting me in. Hmm. I'd better get going. Bye. She seems a little sus just from the way she's talking. She's like, are you ready? This is very dangerous. Femme fatale. She takes care of plants, though. That's cute. Oh, so that's... I was trying to go into his booth. User guide. Wait, by who? Gary Gronkowski. Oh, oops. The lower voltage stress, we replace the old single cap with a multi-miniature capacitor matrix MMC. Will charge only when there is no other cap of a similar color rating in the same row or column. I have no idea what that means. Ryan replaced part in the spark gap with one mate to her modifications. Note for future tests. Now coil won't run without the new part in place. Primary coil, secondary coil, toroid, capacitor, spark gap. The Faraday cage. An invention of the 19th century scientist Michael Faraday. Capable of shielding its contents from the harmful effects of electromagnetic fields, EMFs. These fields can be created by electromagnetic magnetic objects, including solar flares, microwaves, radios, and electromagnetic pulses. While some uh, EMFs are relatively harmless, powerful solar flares, or EMPs, can completely burn out unprotected electronic devices. A Faraday cage can prevent EMF damage. I wonder how it works. Faraday cage is an enclosed structure which conducts an electrical charge across its surface. Anything from large-scale builds of metal mesh with copper grounds to a cardboard box wrapped in alum aluminum foil with a ground made from a paper clip and a binder clip. What? When electric charges or radiation hit the cage, the charges are conducted across the external surface of the metal casing and out through it. Oh, so it like catches it and diverts it to the ground, into the earth. The contents of the cage undamaged. Faraday cage can also act as a conductor for a lethal current from a coil discharge. The current is conducted down, out, and out the ground, keeping the contents safe. Huh. Strike, strike rings and lightning rods. Electricity favors the path of least resistance, which means strike rings or lightning rods can be used to attract the lightning streamers from the Tesla coil. The streamers would otherwise be discharged in random directions from the toroid. Toroid? I have no idea. <laughs> when placed in close proximity to the Tesla coil, the highly conductive metal rings and rods make a less resistant path for the electricity to follow. The lightning is then much more likely to strike the rings and rods than any other area in the room. Electrical circuits are depicted in the schematic diagrams using symbols and lines to represent components and connections. Schematic diagrams make it easy to read how components should be connected in a circuit. Because the schematic diagram shows a simplified layout, it may appear quite different from the final placement of the components, components on the circuit board. 3.2. So I feel like I've seen this in school. <laughs> like high school. Following the connections on both the schematic and the board is the best way to figure out the correct placement of the components. Above schematic, below circuit board. Oh, God. This is going to be difficult, isn't it? Oh, so this is what the icons mean. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Okay, that's going to be helpful. Can I take this book? Oh, yeah, I, do. I did. Great. Okay. So that's what's in this space. It's just her, his space, and then the exit. Okay. Investigate Ryan. Haven't done that. 
Okay. Can't go there. Can't go to those doors. Can't go there. That's locked. So I guess we're going to go back down. Or can we go further up? No. Haven't done that. Trying to figure out the layout of this place. It's hard to... Okay, security's there. Snoop Ellie's workspace. Snoop's security booth. This is the security booth, right? I guess he has to be gone for that. Main lab it's locked. is locked. Okay. I need a car to get in the lab. Gotcha. How do we get this access to this kind of stuff? Check. Check. That's good. Can't check that. Still have to have it. Still have to do that. Haven't. Still haven't. Haven't. Do it during the day. Oh, so that's how we switch between. Oh, because I was wondering how we were going to meet the other day. Uh, oh, so you set it to either daytime or nighttime. Oh, I see. Okay. So now we're going to meet the day shift. Hey there, Nancy Drew. <gasps> Deirdre. Hi, Deirdre. Are you in Colorado by any chance? Yes. How did you know? What do you want? Some friend of my dad's called me for a reference for you. And you gave him a good reference? Well, I told him the truth. That was very nice of you. Was it? By the way, don't make a habit of it. Okay? Bye. Wait, hang on a sec. I might need some outside help with this case. <sighs> Did you forget that I don't like you? No, but I know you're studying criminology and maybe someday I could help you out. Oh, a non-specific promise with the word someday. Sounds too tempting to ignore. Yet, here I go. <laughs> okay. Daytime. Let's see. No one here. Uh, so we can probably meet Mason, right? If we go up. At least she's honest. I guess. <laughs> There he is. If it looks like I'm busy, that means I'm busy. What are you working on? It's immensely complicated. Get a postgrad in advanced math and electrical engineering, then I'll explain it to you. Put it in layman's terms. Fine. There's this shiny magic that lives in the power lines, and it's dangerous and sly like a fox. And I'm using math to trick it into leaving the power lines without accidentally making everyone die. That sounds like you're working on the wireless transmission of electricity to me. If you want to put too fine a point on it, go ahead, stranger. Which brings me to my next point. Who am I? Please let the answer be something that justifies me kicking you out of my workspace. I'm here on behalf of a new potential owner. Wrong. No, that's correct. No, I mean wrong answer for me. Not the answer I wanted to hear. Jeez. Do you know why Ryan would want to hurt Nico? The police already asked the same thing. Well, what did you tell them? I said if I were to have killed Nico, it'd be because he stole my work. Whoa, hmm. hold on. It's just a for instance. Is it? Yes, that's because I think logically. I force myself to think from A to B to C and so on. Ryan is all over the place. For her, it's A to zucchini. To that thing from TV, to maybe see, then on to some non sequitur. I don't trust anyone I can't explain. Did you see? I beat your high score. Yes. Maybe that's why if he's so fighting mad. fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. Sun Tzu compels me to take you down. Prepare yourself, opponent. Did you work directly with Nico? No one worked with Nico. We barely spoke to each other. That's the way he liked it. He practically lived in the lab. If he wanted to look at my work, he'd just root around in my hard drive. Hmm. So he'd come in here when you were gone? 
No, he'd use the network. He'd just snoop in your files? That seems kind of annoying. Not kind of. Entirely. It's <laughs> unethical, and it allowed him to steal. What do you remember about the day Nico died? More than I'd care to. I imagine. Did anything stick out? Yes, the police. It was weird. One of us killed Nico, and here they were, talking about a basketball game, like it was any other day. What else do you remember? I remember Ryan. They took her out in cuffs. She came back the next day. Hmm. Never said a word about what happened. Man, they just assumed it was her immediately. You mentioned Nico stealing your work. Can you prove that? No. You must be pretty upset about that. Say what you really want to say. Did the police know your feelings about Nico? What a peculiar question. Do you have a peculiar answer? I do, in fact, have a peculiar answer. I actually told the police the truth. A more interesting question is how is Ryan still a free woman? Why shouldn't she be? In this case, the smoking gun is a miswired Tesla coil that she built. Did you dislike Nico? Very much so. Would you go as far as to say you hated Nico? I would go that far and further. That guy was a jerk. Maybe because you're a seems jerk. seems a little disrespectful, considering... Does it? Am I supposed to pretend he's great now that he's dead? Lots of jerks have died, Whew, and he's one of them. This guy. He's a dead, brilliant, jerk madman. The world would be much better off if he'd lived to share more of his intellect. But I selfishly am glad I'll never have to deal with him again. Oh, Jesus. It seems strange to me that you could be so blasé about a murder. I deal with things on my own time. But if you are desperate to watch someone cry, Ellie's always available. What do you think of Ellie? She hates me so much that she switched to the night shift. Come to think of it, she hates me so much I should actually feel a sense of accomplishment. Which I now do. This there dude! What did you do that she dislikes you so much? Why do you assume it was me? Well, you just said that it was an accomplishment. I took an educated guess. I did too. Still couldn't figure it out. But the fact remains, we are not besties, as she likes to say. We are worsties. We are worsties. <laughs> What's so special about Tesla? If you have to ask that, you haven't done your research. I mean, to you, what brought you here? The work. I turned down Los Alamos in a tenure-track position to be here. Most people don't know this, but the majority of Tesla's work was confiscated by the FBI. I do know that. Why? Could be he was designing weapons. Could be he had a breakthrough that threatened the energy magnates. Don't know. It's all been hidden. What matters is... There's a little bit still here. I always suspected Nico had some squirreled away, and I'd be able to find it. But either he didn't, or I couldn't. Hmm, where are you gonna find it? You said you were searching for Nico's work. Did you ever look in Nico's personal things? Of course I looked. Can you tell me a little bit about Gray? He always gives me an industrial-sized portion of the creeps. The only person who ever liked Gray was Nico. And I think he just liked keeping Gray around to scare everyone away from his work. Did he try to scare you away from Nico's work? No. He tried to scare me away from my own work. <laughs> what does that mean? He was Nico's heavy. I figured he'd leave once the police gave the all clear. Trust me, if he's still here, he's up to something. Your boss would be smart to get rid of him. What was Nico working on before he died? There wasn't a name for it yet. Official. His desk? Yeah, I was it looking was at it. It was basically wireless energy So perfectly transfer. organized. That was helpful for you. So how about you tell me something about your boss? I'm sorry, I can't. Confidential. What are you doing? I want you to tell me what you know, but I can't tell if you're a pushover or not. Not. Ah, efficiency. One of the rare graces of a post manor society. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> a weird dude. So rude. Oh. Okay. 
feel like those orange letters are gonna fit down below. Wait. A N T W S S T H. And there's an apostrophe in there, so there's a good chance that there's apostrophe S. One, two, three, four, five, six apostrophe. And one, two, three, four, eight. Okay, so I think it's Tesla's. That leaves O O M N W T H. That is not enough letters. That leaves seven let. Oh no, there's another E. Moon. Moon with. Moon through. Hometown. <gasps> oh. H O M E. Yeah, you're right. Hometown. Okay, so whatever this is is Tesla's hometown. Maybe it's password to his desk or something, or his computer. Is this open during the Oh! This is open during the day. Ah! I can't- Oh, oh, god! Careful now! I'm so sorry about that. Are we cool? So you must um, be Ryan. Yes. Good. I was really hoping you'd be the type not to freak out about something like that. Not that you shouldn't. It's reasonable to freak out after a near-death experience. Not that that was super near-death, but you know, closer than what you get walking through most doors. <laughs> it's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Good. I had a whole argument prepared about labs and the risks of working with machinery and the importance of forgiveness. Do you want me to hit all the bullet points? Uh, that's not necessary. Are you sure? I practiced. No, I, I get it. I'm Ryan. I just left her hanging. What do you do at the lab? I'm so sorry, but I have to ask why you're here. Why are you here? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here to do due diligence for a potential new I'm owner. here to do due I'm diligence. Sorry. I'm an adult, and to there's do nothing do. funny about what you just said. Whoa, wait. Back to the information. We're getting a new owner? Maybe, but first I need to ask some intrusive questions. Oh. I know you've gotten enough of this, I really do, but it's my job. I've done worse things for my job. Like what? I build tools. They're not always used in a good way. What do you mean by that? I couldn't tell you about it if I wanted to. Confidentiality. Who do you think killed Nico? A little part of me thinks it's Gray. Why? Hmm. I'm a little scared of him. Any reason in particular? Oh, you know. His voice and general demeanor and his face and pretty much everything else about him. His face Those in particular. Two a strange relationship. They fought constantly, not sure why. Weird. The part that was responsible for Nico's death is missing. Do you know where it went? No. Are you sure? You sound like you're not telling me something. I destroyed it. It's gone. Hmm. Why destroy it? Because I made it! You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please. Damn, okay. Art Brute? Huh. Okay. This could help getting into the lab. Ooh. Sweet. Oh, another one. Security office, do not remove. I wonder what those things are for. Can't take it. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to put something here at some point. To work on it. Oh, here too? Damn. Hmm. I can look at everything, but... There's nothing to actually click on. Damn. Is this your motorcycle? It's my sweet ride! But it's not done yet. But I'm working on it. Hmm. Cool. Damn. 
Did they meet everyone now? Can't check that off yet. Did that. That was everyone. Okay. Let's look at the security booth. Oh. He locks it during the day. Oh. Hmm. It's a blank card. I'm sure I have to get into security to alter that. What is this one? Colors. Hmm. Um, let's see the hometown thing. In Smilian. I'll write that down. Can't check that off yet. Oh, you could say I need a hint. Oh, look at that. That's done. Explore at the workshop. Did that. Hmm. Who's going to show me the security video? Still have to do that. We raise the alarm to snoop in on Gary. Oh, really? Do we actually? I guess we could save and just see what happens. Hey there, champ. How's my favorite buddy? What do you want, Deirdre? What do I want? This is about what you want, Nancy Drew. Mm -hmm. Is that so? It could not be more so. I come bearing apologies. I want to help you, Nancy Drew. I want to be your girl on the inside of the exciting world of criminology. Why the sudden change of heart? Because apparently it still counts as plagiarism if you pay someone to write your paper. <sighs> I mean, is capitalism dead? Because that's what it seems like. And you want to help me because... I made a bargain with my prof. If I can help an actual murder investigation, I'll get credit. So I help you, you help me collect data for my paper, and balance is restored to the universe. How exactly can you help me? I've got permission to use our criminal Ooh. database. In fact, I already read up on the case. That could come in handy. All right, it's a deal. Great. Call when you need help, and I'll do what I can. Just don't call me when I'm busy. Will do. Surveillance what do video. you know about surveillance video? That you watch it? Have you heard of cases where the video has been faked? Oh, yeah. All the time. How can you tell if the video's been edited in some way? It's getting harder and harder to tell. But the number one thing you need to do is to make sure that you've got the original video feed. If you don't, analyzing the data file isn't going to do you much good. Is there a way to know if I have the original? Yeah, that's the detective part. Not in my wheelhouse. <laughs> I need you to check on 911 calls the night of the murder. Consider it done. I'll text you the results. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what about all the other questions I had? Okay, so do you want to try the alarm? He's going to be so mad. Why did he not come running this way? Oh, he's actually gone. The hecky? There, got those. Oh, there's another one. Ah, shit. So many letters. Oh god, I have to do this now? Wait, how quick How quick do I need to be before he comes back? Oh, it's this puzzle again. Oh, was that too many? Oh, right, okay. Five charges. Okay. Oh, that doesn't... Hmm. That only sends one... Oh, God. How do I do all of these, then? Right. Okay, so that is like a, sh a wave through the system. Oh, 
How did I do that? That's a good one. Okay. But only one charge remaining. Hmm. There's a chain reaction we need to get. Well, that was definitely a good start, but... I should probably work on the ones that are already done. Okay. Hmm. Ah, that didn't do it. Yeah, so it's clicking the ones that have like another one next to it is like a good idea, right? It's like that. We'll send out a bigger wave. I'm starting to get it. Okay, now I have three left. That's good. So if I do this one... And... This one... Maybe this one? Aha! Now what did that do? No idea. I need to get all of the numbers shown clockwise on the wheel using their binary code. Wait, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Oh, I see. You want like different variants. Oh, right. We also need four of those. Yeah. No video loaded. How do we know what the video is? How do I go back? I want out! Take me out! These must be the key cards used to access the lab. I should figure out which number belongs to whom. Oh god, okay. I'll take a picture. Oh my god, there's so many. I guess you can figure out someone comes in. That number is from the night of the murder. It doesn't appear anywhere else in the logs. This one? No. Not sure. Gab safe. Wouldn't a dude come back anyway? Oh, there you go. I feel like I didn't have enough time, like I took too long on the first puzzle. Get out of there. Just gotta reset. Oh, that's nice. Just puts me here. Hmm, anywhere else I want to look? Oh, there's another symbol. God, there's so many. Hmm. Get out of there! Hmm. Barely of any time. Let's do that again, but quicker. Now I kind of like get the puzzle. Okay. Okay, I might save that again. <laughs> Big brain too. Okay, let's try the keycard thing. Ah, uh, but I need a password. It's not the the other password thing, right? The one that was on Gary's Smillion. No, how do you know his password? These must be the key cards used to access the lab. I should figure out which number belongs to whom. That number is from the night of the murder. It doesn't appear anywhere else in the logs. Which one? Oh yeah, that 18 one up top. That's the unique one. 
How do I know what video to look up? I also don't know how to do that. There's nothing else I can do. Oh, wait! This thing. A life? Maybe that's the password? Because we did this, we did the binaries. Video numbers on the case file. Oh. That's in a different room. Ah, there it is. LBTY. I need to consolidate some of this. Do you think we have time? That's him going in. Dying. Just Nico. Hmm. That's it? Hmm. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Did that. That's done. That's done. Hmm. Still have to do that. Password to activate the keycard. I wonder if it's those pictures I've been taking. All those weird stickers. Let me take a look at those. They also have arrows on them though. I wonder if that is anything. It's a clock. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we start at 1 p.m., it's F, R, Z is 11. We have H before that, Q is 6, D is 5, V is 12, oh, and it's green. Maybe that's the first one? O is 4, W is 3, G is 7, oh, and then another G. Bear with me. I'm sleuthing right now. I might be missing nine. Did you get the one on the card reader? No, I didn't. I did get a picture, but I didn't include it. It's a U. That's it. Do you think that's the password? Like it's just a series of random letters? At least we can go out and just try again. He's in here like, aha! <laughs> okay, let's try it. Oh, oh, what is it? Oh, this thing. Oh, God. Oh, I need to do this now. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's this thing. They need to all overlap. Yeah. Okay. Can I turn these? Oh, I can. Oh, wait, do they need to be on top of each other correctly as well? Like, this one needs to be at top. Oh, shit. Okay, I could do that. Dude, I just want this one. Isn't that it? 
My brain cannot compute. I think that's it. Yellow on top. Now send. I need a blank key card first. Ah! Oh, thank God. Now get the heck out of here. I gotta go. Okay, we're out. Card. Okay. Whew. Should we just try it? Oh, we're in. Did that. Something must be broken. Erase last, erase all, play. Hmm. Oh, we need to, like, mess around with a lot of this stuff, don't we? What is this? Oh. Need a key? Can we do the computer? No. The desk? What is this? A rapid prototyper. Rapid prototyping machine. 3D printers. Oh! Fabricate parts of... T Ooh, do you think we'll 3D print a key or something? Fabricate parts to a design made in 3D modeling software using dimensions from design, blah blah blah. Printing typically takes half a day. Circuit design. Create your own design to print on a circuit board using the Circuit Designer Pro software system. When all the con connections are attached to a power source, the software will automatically print a completed design. She can then be used in transferring the design to a blank wafer on a photolithographic etcher. Mason and Ellie, should you ever need it and I'm not available, I loaded the program on the computer next to the etcher. Ooh. Okay. Lights to reproduce an image processes the image onto special light sensitive wafers. Oh, so it prints it on something else. Etching solution tank, image tray, tray for blank wafers, and the start button. Tank, image tray, wafer tray, start. Okay. Got it. Oh, that's literally here. Huh. Oh. What else we got? Hi. Hello. Anyone? Hmm. Okay. What's that on the floor? Oh, can't look at it. Scary. Oh, the 3D printer. Okay. No files in queue. Battle of the Currents. In the 1880s, a battle of electri electrifying proportions was being waged, the Battle of the Currents. The Wizard of Menlo Park, Thomas Edison, faced off against the Wizard of the West, Nikola Tesla, in a contest of power of the 20th century. By 1882, Thomas Edison had established direct current as a standard for electrical transmission. Beginning with the Pearl Street power plant in New York, Edison and his company soon had a virtual monopoly on the market. The DC system had its flaws, notably the inability to transmit electricity further than a mile without losing power, but customers knew and trusted the Edison name. When Nikola Tesla filed the patents for his alternating current, motors, and power transmission, it caught- oh, comma. I thought that was a period. I was like, how does the sentence work? Comma. When he did that, it caught the eye of industrialist George Westinghouse. Westinghouse was Edison's rival and immediately recognized the potential of Tesla's inventions. AC permitted voltage to be raised or lowered as needed, making it possible to send electricity across great distances without the power loss suffered on a DC system. Edison quickly realized the threat AC represented, represented to his DC monopoly. He began a publicity campaign against AC, claiming that it could be dangerous, even deadly. Edison's company also made demonstrations using AC to electrocute innocent animals. What? From stray dogs and cats to the circus elephant Topsy. What the fuck? These demonstrations ultimately led to the development of the electric chair. Huh? <gasps> no way! The battle came to a head at the World's Columbian Exposition in 1893. When Edison and Westinghouse vied... 
vied for the right to illuminate the expo. Westinghouse won the bid and 100,000 people watched as President Grover Cleveland switched on the lights at the Chicago Fairgrounds on opening day. It was an awe-inspiring sight. Over the course of the exposition, more than 27 million people experienced the wonder of an AC-illuminated world. Though Edison continued to promote DC after Chicago, he knew it was a lost cause. Westinghouse and Tesla had won the Battle of the Currents. Jesus Christ, I didn't realize they did that. That's awful. And especially knowing that it, like Tesla's current was basically better than his own. Just didn't want to lose. What a loser. What a smart loser. Oh, this seems dangerous. Mm. What are we going to do? This is like such a huge setup with so many elements and stuff. Oh, I don't want to go there. That's the death chamber. Can't I go to the back anywhere? Oh. Etching solutions. Extremely caustic. Do not use over or under mixed solutions. Incorrect amounts deadly. Measurements not to be doubled, tripled, or in any way altered. Okay, 314, 2, 12, 1, 1. Oh, and there's the... Wait, wasn't AG... Isn't AG silver? Or AU? Mixed solution in the mixing beaker, not the chemical bottles. Hmm. I'll take that, I guess. Maybe I should save death room. AG is silver, AU is gold. Oh, that was it. Yeah, I always forget. I feel like it's not smart to be here unsupervised. Emergency shut off. It looks like something is missing. Well, didn't Ryan say she took something that out? Must be where the switch goes. And destroyed it. Me. What am I looking at? No idea. I need to find a way to get that lightning rod working. Why? <laughs> what are we doing exactly? I need to find something that'll help figure out the code. Oh. Okay. There's a computer on in this corner and we can't get to it. Or this panel on the floor. Wait, I haven't been here. The red must mean it's locked. I bet if I turn everything blue, it'll open. Hmm. Oh, that didn't... I thought it would do this. Is it a plus? No, it's not. How does this work? This one is everything in the middle. That's a corner piece. But these are only horizontal. Shouldn't be too hard then. Huh? She says as she's clicking random buttons. That's a rough beep. That's true. So you can only do the middle one by doing all of them around it. There's nothing in here. I guess it's for later. This looks dangerous. 
I should make sure I know what I'm doing before I start. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you want a beaker? No oh. way. That is a bad idea. Um, uh, do you want to get some water? Mixed solutions only. I don't even know. Oh, find the missing bottle of hydrofluoric acid. Check. Check. Wait, there's a small one and... Repair the small Tesla coil in the lab. Repair the Tesla coil. Why are they two different things? Haven't done that. Check. We need a missing bottle and then she might make something? Or do you think the missing bottle is in here? Oh. Is that it? Oh, I think it is. Check. Oh. Okay, and we have three and four. Can we put this down here? This beaker must be for something. So can I just like... Oh. Um. <laughs> okay, what am I trying to make? Am I trying to make the etching solution? Not yet, it's for later. Oh. I was just gonna say, I don't really get it. Something must be broken. Is that broken? Yeah, what? What do you think of Ellie? What'd you say all these questions were for again? I'm gathering information for a potential new owner. Your questions say different. Say you're lying. I'm just very thorough. Then leave me alone. Thoroughly alone. <laughs> what else now? Who was here the night of the murder? I was. Who else? Ellie and... And who? Computers say someone, but the cameras say no one else. Nico walks in that door alone every time I watch the tape. How many times have you watched the footage? Don't know. Lots. Why? It's my job. You mentioned re-watching the video. Do you think something is hidden there? Not hidden. Missing. What's missing? It's not a what, it's a who. I don't understand. Who are you looking for? Nico's killer. Did Nico's work put him in any danger? Yes. Energy is power. <laughs> Ultimate power. Energy is Why power. Why would that put him in danger? People who want power will not hesitate to get what they want. Why were you so concerned about what Mason was up to? He was messing with tech he didn't understand. I had to make sure he didn't do anything stupid. The log says that one additional person entered the lab Ultimate the night power. Nico died. <laughs> I know. The question is, how do you know? Police report. What I don't understand is why the police didn't follow up on it. They did. Said it was a glitch. Hmm. Do you believe that? What's it matter what I believe? It only matters what they believe. What do you think of Ryan? Hater. Why? You're smart. Carry the sums. You'll get it. What? What do you think of Mason? Don't like him. Why not? I've got my reasons. What are they? Secret. No, actually, I hate him because he's up to something. What? I have no idea. Not for lack of trying. Hmm. I'll let you go. Bye. Okay, he finally opened up a little bit. Um, so we're in, we're in the night shift again, right? Maybe we should talk to the other ones again? Hello. How bad are relations between you and Mason? I wouldn't say they're bad. You might be the only one who wouldn't. They're not great. I get the impression that you two hate each other. My gram raised me to look for the good in everyone, even those who do me harm. Most times I find that glimmer of good even in the meanest people. 
but Mason flashes that smug smile of his, and every rage center of my brain releases <laughs> all of its hate Mason chemicals. Wish that weren't the truth, but it is. I also get the impression Mason doesn't like you very much. Now that is fortunate. If I had to deal with him puppy-dogging all around all the time, I'd never get anything done. Who else was here the night Nico died? Gray. I think that's it. Hmm. Did you know Nico well? No, but it wasn't for lack of trying. So you weren't friends? I don't know if he had friends. He wasn't well-liked? No, it's not like that. I just don't think he needed people, or if he did, then he hid it well. He was too much of a scientist. You said Nico was too much of a scientist. <laughs> what did you it right mean up. by that? <laughs> I'm organized in the way I think, but I... Okay, take Mason, for example. He lives his life the way I work. How so? In all of the ways. When he makes a sandwich, he alphabetizes the ingredients. He's not human. Mm -hmm. Not that he's... It's hard to explain. Like if a computer had legs and a sweater, <laughs> it'd be Mason. <laughs> what it comes down to is, I'm 20%. Mason, maybe 60. Nico was 100% a scientist. Hmm. I like how it was written just now to be like, you want to go out tonight? Nah, I'm too busy. You said you were too busy. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you and Mason work opposite schedules? I'm a night Ellie. Any other reason? And as a good southern girl, I know if you don't have anything good to say, you keep it zipped. Like this. Did Nico have a hard time with people? Not a hard time. Not exactly. It was like he was plugged into a different current than the rest of us. People were to be studied and observed, but that was all he wanted. At least I hope that's how it was. Was Nico close to anyone in the office? Did he talk to anyone? Don't think so, really. Hmm. I'll let you go. Goodbye, Nancy. Okay, fairy to himself. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mason's not very forgiving. I mean... You don't want to be messing with his stuff. You hate him, though. Sorry, I was just a little curious. You know, he's not here. Make you a deal. He's been lording his high score aggregation over me. Take him down, and I'll let you poke around. Actually, I already beat Mason's high score. Oh, you did good, kid. This is me looking the other way. It's a limited time offer. Oh, so I quit I at exactly the right time Bye. in the game. Okay, let's go. What can we get? He can mess with all his things. <laughs> Put them out of order. Biometrics and introduction. Security method that uses unique personal physical traits to act as keys or pa passwords. Okay. Iris and retina scans, voice work. Oh, facial shape, fingerprints. Ah, fingerprint biometrics is gaining prevalence as an additional security measure in many industries as a replacement for traditional door locks instead of using a key the user places their finger on a scanner the scan is run against the user database if a match is found the lock is released mm -hmm. once you have a copy the next step is create a fake finger you need to create an etching of a fingerprint sample to use as a mold gelatin cooking gummy candies are you gonna do that are you gonna make a fake fingerprint or did he make a fake fingerprint Oh, Smilian. Clear design, print design. Hmm. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Whoa. Ryan should never have been released. Better follow up on this. <laughs> Ryan is 20358712. C video. HLLW. 
Oh, it's just memory? I was not looking. Oh! Oh, that's not the same. Don't remember. <laughs> Ho 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 ho! 31 seconds, baby! Uh, electrifying. Nice. So do we want to 3D print something? But we don't know what yet, right? He's gonna come back and be like, uh, Who messed with my high score? Okay, we can look at a new video. Bingo! Nice! <laughs> 3D print a cat, yeah. H L L W 510257. What's she doing? That's the lab. She broke in. I mean, it doesn't have to be something crazy. It might She's just be... She's bypassing the security system. Interesting. It might just be that she forgot her key card or something. But we that can ask her. That doesn't sound good. Ellie might want to know about this. Oh. Inquire after loud humming in the lab. Sure. Oh, Hi. Ellie. Is the hall just outside the lab supposed to hum? Nope. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh! Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. Uh, I might be under time constraint, though. Uh, okay. Oh, this beats. <gasps> what does it mean? Chicken as <laughs> chicken sounds? She making a game? Cat, knob, charm. These could be useful. What is it? She not gonna notice that you took them? Cheer up, capital E. It can't be that bad. Okay, it can be bad. I've been to Colorado, but on the bright side, I sent you a letter. You see? You're holding it right now. Guess who got her license? The answer is me. Madre and Padre are quite proud of the accomplishment. Slightly less proud when I got an accident 30 minutes later. How's your super secret deal thing going? Oh? Can you please get a job where we don't always have to talk in secret code about everything? I know you don't want to talk about all of this, but I'm desperate to know if whatever you're doing is gonna pan out. I look forward to the day I can say, and this is my fabulously wealthy yet brilliant and humble cousin Ellie. Have to get going, but I have one more thing to say. Those jokers in Colorado don't know what they're missing. Sorry that state's giving you a case of square peg syndrome, but it's not you, it's them. Anytime you get tired of life out there, you come home. I'll be waiting for you like we never skipped a beat. Rachel. Capacitators. Cap capacitors. For in the lab. Oh, it stays open. Now, if you were a capacitor, where would you be needed? Oh. Heard back about the 911 call. Guess who waited 30 minutes before calling in the accident, according to the time of death reports? Ellie. I wonder I wonder what she was doing, probably covering her murderous tracks. I mean, who does that? Stylishly late doesn't apply to 911 calls. And before you ask, that's all I know about it. 
Okay, we'll have to ask her about that. Do you want these? Hmm. Do you want these? <laughs> How about you? Do you want a thing? No. That's what I thought, yeah. Oh, what's this? Did I look at this? Oh, I did. Dev in the chat, the code was just an easter egg we put in. Actual game code for the scene you were in. Also, the desk and asteroid were designed after our cubicles. What? Oh, that's fun. Oh, I can't do anything here. Capacitor, capacitor. Let's see. Did that. That's done. Check. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done. Haven't done. Can't check that. Still ha haven't checked. Still have to do that. <laughs> have haven't done that. Check. <laughs> I guess maybe we should talk to Ryan again now that we know about the video. Or Ellie. We can also pressure her. She's here now, so let's ask her first. Phone time. That's true. We can't actually call people, can't we? Nancy, Frank was just talking about you. Oh yeah? Is that so? Just Recounting the time. So, how are you? How's Colorado? <laughs> Sciency. Awesome. Sciency. I want to catch you up on the case. Give us the deets. Joe, there's already a word that means what you're trying to say. Frank, it's a language, not a museum. Tear down the velvet rope standing in the way of your word imagination. <laughs> so, sorry, Nancy. Please go ahead. I was called in to solve a cold case murder. Whoa, a murder? I am flabber worried. <laughs> a little on the dangerous side? It might be. I wish we could be there to help. Where are you? We're on a submarine. Well, currently it's a boat, but intermittently it's a submarine. What mm -hmm. are you doing on a submarine? It's sort of a long story, and we're still putting together. Is that like a different together. book? Not gonna lie, Nancy, it's some pretty sweet stuff. Crime syndicates, pirate treasure, and there's some talk of pirate ghosts, but no confirmations as of yet. But fingers crossed. More importantly, tell us about you. Um, I'm pretty busy. I'll have to catch you up as I go. I just saw a really cool Tesla coil demo. You just said the one thing that could make me wish I wasn't on a submarine. I agree. I've always wanted to see one up close. It was really yeah, impressive. Yeah, me too. I've never seen one. They're definitely on the dangerous side. Not really. Well, they can be if they're wired up wrong, but overall they're pretty safe. Do you know much about Tesla coils? Are you kidding? I'm the biggest Nikola Tesla fan in the world. I think. <laughs> it might be a tie. I'll allow that. I met Mason. What's Mason like? Cold and detached. That's a reassuring pair of personality traits. He sounds a little textbook. See if you can get a reaction out of him somehow. Ooh. Deirdre's decided to help me out. What's in it for her? A passing grade. Ah, oh, lucky. I wonder who her teacher is. I foiled three art heists, and did that help my art history grade? No. No, it did not. Rescue a stolen Vermeer, yet you still get a C. <laughs> I met the whole crew. Now the work begins. There are some intelligence guys here who owe us a favor. We'll see if anyone's got a pass they're hiding. Mason and Ellie seem to hate each other. On a scale of one to standoff? They're on opposite shifts to avoid one another. Interesting. That might come in handy. Hmm. I met Gray. What's his story? He doesn't seem like a people person. As person people, Frank and I disapprove. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you two were Tesla fans. Tesla was like a real-life wizard. Well, his contributions to the scientific community are the most boring things to talk about when it comes to Tesla, Frank. He carried around an earthquake machine and built death rays. That stuff is probably blown out of proportion. I will not have you in boring Tesla, Frank. He was one of the few scientists who truly valued crazy giant lightning storms. When he was bored, he and Mark Twain would take turns electrocuting themselves. I mean, come on! <laughs> the flashy stuff is cool, Joe, but what really impresses me is how all of these seemingly crazy things he dreamed up are now being proven to be actually possible. Like wireless energy? Yeah, and harvesting energy from space and the Earth itself. Wait, is that what Nico was working on? I don't know all of the details exactly, but it seems like it. Amazing. 
I met Ryan. So, what's his story? Her. Okay, hang on. Adjusting mental image, removing mustache, <laughs> change haircut and shoes, done. Wait, adding hat. Okay, done for real. So what's her story? <laughs> She's the one who made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. That's serious. But if she wasn't arrested, there must be some doubt. Some, but Victor really thinks she might be the one. Does she seem like a cold-blooded killer? No. Then keep a close eye on her. Don't forget, your safety is more important than solving the case. Hmm. I met Ellie. The verdict? I think she's hiding something. Then she must be. I mean, when are you wrong about this stuff? I can't think of once. Goodbye. See ya. That was a fun call. Victor here. Can you tell me a little bit about Ellie? She's got that small town girl act down pat. I guess I just can't tell who she really is. Hmm. She's hiding something for sure. Mason says Nico was stealing from him. Is this true? No. Because the work isn't Mason's no. to with. It's a little troubling that he views it that way. Huh. How did you hear about me? Through a close friend. You've impressed a lot of people, Nancy. Hmm. You seem pretty sure Ryan's the one who killed Nico. That's because she did. She made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. And confidentially, the police told me they're almost certain it's her. They just don't have enough evidence to get a conviction. This is your case. But don't let Ryan's buddy act fool you. She's not who she seems. I don't know. It seems like she wouldn't admit to taking out the part and, like, taking it apart. If, she, like, I don't know. It feels like... Someone who actually intended that to kill someone wouldn't admit that they would want to take it apart afterwards again. I don't know. What do you think of Mason? Smart kid. Don't know much about him. Why did you hire me and not a big investigation firm? The crew has been questioned a lot, as you can imagine. Everyone's defenses are up. You can pull off the undercover work without drawing too much suspicion. True. I know it's a long shot, but I've heard good things. And... I already tried the buy the book way, and that got me nowhere. I mean, people do always underestimate Nancy, so... Can you tell me anything about Gray? I don't know much about him. He was one of Nico's hires. Nico brought Gray on? Yes. I have no idea why. He's a head case. Watch yourself around him. Understand? Do you think Gray could have killed Nico? Nah. I don't know if he did, but I don't doubt he could have. Between you and me... If I didn't want him here to be investigated, I would have fired him immediately. Hmm. Do not tell him that. I don't know how he might react. It could be really ugly. I I don't think it's Ellie, actually, because it's always like a red herring, right? People, There's always someone who does something shady, but then their, their motives are, like, true. Can you tell me a little bit about Nico? He was an amazing scientist. Years so ahead of sure. his time. How long have you worked together? Decades. Did you spend any time together outside of work? I don't know if there was much outside of work for Nico. So, no. Goodbye. Bye. Maybe we can ask her to do something hey, again? Hey, Do you know how to fix a musical Tesla coil? Yes. Really? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I thought you said, should I let you get back to what you were doing? <laughs> You read up on the case, right? I don't understand why Ryan was under so much scrutiny, but never sent to trial. From what I gathered, something didn't add up with the video and the timeline. Someone had to be in the lab with Nico. Otherwise, he'd still be here today. So, if her alibi stands up, it couldn't be her. Exactly. Unless there's something big I'm missing. Something's weird about this whole thing. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Figure this out! I asked her about the night of the murder. She was pretty much mute. I'm undercover here. I can't push too hard. Can you see what you can find on your end? I'll see what I can find. All I've got is the database. Don't expect any miracles. Hmm. Okay. That was a good round of calls. Let me see if Ellie is back. Nope. 
Where'd she go? Let's do... I guess we could go to daytime and ask Ryan about the video. Oh, footsteps. <gasps> Who's there? Hello? Uh, what the heck? Who was that? I guess we could talk to Ryan. Start with that. Bonk man. I wonder who did it. Who was that? Mason, maybe? Um, hello? What's happening? Are you okay? I'll never be okay again. What is that thing? An abomination of technology. It's some creepy robotic cat that someone, I suspect Mason, is tormenting me by leaving all of its awful parts everywhere. Yeah, I've seen parts. I've seen one of those before. If I find all of the pieces, I bet I could put it together. As long as you promise to throw it into a fiery volcano once it's completed. That thing is the undisputed mayor of Nightmare Town. Victor mentioned you were arrested the night Nico died. Yes, I was. What happened? It's not a night I like remembering. I understand. No need to go into it. Thanks. It was a bad night. Worst I ever had. They dropped me in a room and asked me a hundred times if I killed Nico. That must have been hard. The questions kept coming faster and faster until I had a hard time remembering what was even true anymore. Then it was over. The older one drove me home, told me they'd be back the second they could prove it was me. Made it hard to sleep at night. What evidence huh. did they have? They wouldn't say. It was like they were waiting for me to tell them why they thought I was guilty. I'm kind of wondering the same thing myself. I don't think you're telling me the full story. What do you want? Something. Do you have anything that can prove that you didn't kill him on purpose? No. Hmm. Well, that was quick. Can we ask about the video? What happened on the night of the murder? Can you not say it like that, please? I'm sorry. I don't know if there is a better way to ask about something like this, but I do really need to know. I know, you're right. He talked to me. More than once. Hmm. I'm not sure I understand. He, he didn't never talk does. to most yeah. people. I think he liked me. Or at least trusted me. You still haven't told me about what happened that night. We lost one of science's brightest minds for a stupid reason I don't understand. That's all I can say. I need to rebuild the missing part from the large Tesla coil. Can you help me out? I think I've got the plans here. Yep. Here you go. Ah. Thanks. Thank you. Working here, I forgot that phrase existed. Hmm. Do you know how I can get the little Tesla coil in the lab to work? The circuit board is shot. You seem like you know what's up. I bet you could make a new one yourself. You'll find everything you need in the photo lab. Can you tell me about what happened with the equipment you built for Nico? It worked exactly as it was supposed to. Tesla coils are not supposed to be wired like the one you built for Nico. It's extremely dangerous. You don't have to tell me that. I know. I knew. He told me that's what he wanted. Hmm. I don't understand why he would want you to build something so deadly. I didn't either. He said he was going to do it with or without me. I just figured that if I did what he wanted perfectly, it'd be better than if he got help from somebody else. In the end, your machine is what killed him. No. Yes, but... But what? I didn't... I would never hurt anyone. Especially not Nico. Why? What made him special? Because... He was brilliant. He could look at a blueprint and know the finished product's personality. And he had no one in the world looking after him. 
I wonder if, like, she says he asked him to, but how does she know it was actually him? Like, did he ask her directly or did he send her an email or something? I wonder if someone, like, used his email to, like, send her a message or something. Something like you that. You snuck in without logging in the day before the murder. Why? I... I lost my key. It happens. Isn't this place extremely well secured? The labs are... Building... I have my tricks. And no, I'm not sharing. Hmm. Bye. Later. So we should find those parts? Let's see. Make a new circuit board for the Tesla coil. Manufacture missing parts. Unlock the control booth door. It doesn't say anything about the cat robot. Well, yeah, I've been seeing parts everywhere. At least we can now 3D print the thing from Mason's desk, although he's here now. So he can't use his computer, but we can talk to him. Hey. Who do you see on an average day? Just me. Sometimes Ryan. You ask a lot of questions. Ever thought of being a scientist? <laughs> Sometimes. Good answer. The world needs more people with questions, and fewer people who are sure they have the answers. Do you like Ryan? Let me save you some time. I don't like anyone. That can't be true. Observe, and I'll demonstrate. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Other people. Have you been tormenting Ryan with a robot cat? I'd never do something that hilarious and definitely deserved. Never. Not ever. Hmm. Don't you think you should maybe stop? She seems to hate it. Mm, no, I will not stop. I asked her nicely to build it for me. I even offered to pay her for her time. She's the one who hid it, so I don't even feel a little bad. Who was here the night of the murder? Not me. So, you know, no follow-ups. Where were you? Out on a date. Did the police mm. follow up with her? Find that hard yes. to believe. <laughs> Proving that she does, in fact, pick up her phone on occasion. So, I take it the date didn't go well? I have so little patience for the dating scene. I prefer to get right to the important compatibility questions. Kids, when, how many, gender preference, Favorite foods and vacation spots? Damn. Some women find this to be a bit much. Some? So far all. <laughs> but I only need one perfect or near perfect match to validate the entire system. I guess. Ryan said that Nico would talk to her. Does that seem true to you? <laughs> no. The two of them hanging out? Mm, can't picture it. Hmm. I better get going. Okay. See you later. What are you doing? I'm trying to think where those cat parts are. There's one in the lab. These two Anna's? Yeah, could be. Um, there was one in our space. So here, there. How do I get it? That's the one I saw. And then there was one here somewhere. Yeah. But that's all I remember seeing. You guys? I need to connect all of the oh, circuits. We can do this now. Wait, connect them how? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Like, do they just need to be connected to one thing, or...? Like, is that fine? No, wait, this is yellow. Yeah, I see, I see, okay. Oh, wait, so we can't do that. Okay. 
Interesting. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this is a tricky one. Cause where is this gonna go? There. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> I can turn these too. Oh. That changes things. many places to connect them to. Like, what am I going to do with these? Oh, this is tricky. Oh, actually. Oh, no, it just needs to... Uh... I wonder if I could connect these and some other... So I, I guess the thing is to try and put them... Connect most of them to like one row, right? Like if we do this, they're all connected. But this... Hmm. Okay. If I do this... Ooh... Close. Do you think if everything works out, there's no spare parts? Do you think everything has to be used? I, I'm doing pretty well, I think. <laughs> but this last part, maybe if I change this around, I can change this around. Ah, uh, but this is still a dead piece here. You know? Just runs into a dead end so quickly, doesn't it? Like so. Oh. Well, wait. Oh. Ooh. <gasps> All done. Yay! Now it's time to etch the design. Cool. Uh, where do we etch? I can't. Oh, oh, it was printing it. I didn't even see. So we put the print in here somewhere, right? The image tray? How do we put it in there? I guess maybe we're still missing whatever needs to go in there. Etching solution? Oh, the solution! Wasn't that in the... The scary corner? <laughs> this is where we make the solution, right? Wait, this did not etch. Okay, I I don't really know how to do this. One to one, I get. But if it's two to one, two to twelve? Is that a sixth? Two, one, two for three ingredients. Oh, I see. 
this has three elements to it. So three hydrofluoric acid, one nitric acid, and four water to make SI wafer. So what do we want to make? Haven't done that. Oh, I thought we did. Oh, this is not even in the... Haven't done that. Yeah, I got it now. I need to know what wafer I need. Yeah, I don't know what wafer type we want. Well, for a circuit board, they said, they said silver was the best, right? So that would be AG, right? So we need nitric acid and water. Look for a wafer in the photo lab. Oh, maybe the supplies, but it's still locked. Ellie has the key on her drawer. Oh, she does. But how do we get her away from her desk again? Oh yeah, and we need Mason to go away. Should we maybe switch to... What is it? It's daytime right now? Hello! I am here to I print. I need to rebuild Ryan's part. Oh, this is the design that I got? Oh lord. Okay. Um, how do I even know what way is which? Does it matter? How do I add parts? Oh, here. Layer 1. So difficult. It might be this? I think? Although no, based on this... There's something else? Oh no, it, yeah. No, this might be correct. It's like, which way am I looking at this? Oh, oops. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, the top layer is definitely only those three blocks. This looks almost right, doesn't it? Yeah. I think this one needs to be filled in. Yeah, I think I got it. Right? Oh no, this one is not filled in. It's empty there. I think that's right. Yeah. So where did it print it to? Where is it? Oh, there's a disc. Oh, <gasps> drawer. I need to find Ooh. a way to play this. Take it, steal it. Reminder hints to this month's passcode for the control booth. Ooh, okay. Uh, I should maybe just take a picture I nope out of here. Now, where did it print it to? The 3D printer in the lab? Oh, uh, okay. Let's have a look. Hello, 3D printer. Oh, it's not printing. Yeah, print. Woo. So it's going to take a full day. Um, next up is the key. Silicone. Is that what I need? I've already got one. Okay. Wait, so do I just use that? Hmm. Oh. Wait, what do I do with the wafer? I thought that would go in here. That 
That's done. That's done. Haven't done that. Check. Can't check that off yet. Okay. Chem lab. You <laughs> eat the wafer. <laughs> Let's go. What could go wrong? Do we use that here? I don't think so. I thought the wafer is what we were trying to make. I'm so confused. Yeah, wafer type. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! I have a picture of the periodic table. Yeah, SI silicone. So I need to make the 3141. 3141. Hydrofluoric acid, nitric acid, and water. The water I can see. Where is the... Oh, the nitric one is a different one. Oh, HNO3. Do you just know that, Aaron? I mean, there's a reason I failed chemistry hard. <laughs> it's on the note. Here? Oh, like this? Their compositions. Oh! Okay. So... We need three HF. Are we gonna mix it in this or something? Ah, okay. Four water. Oh, it says it here. Hey, okay. Now we need one of the other one. Oh, that's not too hard. So then we just do this, do this, and do this. And throw that out. So this is what we need. I think. So now we have the solution. Oh! Ha! It did it! Okay, so the design goes in there, the silicone goes in here! Start! Yeah! <laughs> we did it! I think. I hope. Please don't kill me. <laughs> so what's it doing? Sleep time? Do you think we just need to leave it all a day, maybe? We're scientists. Now mess with Mason's desk. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> rummage through everything. Yeah, let's see. Go to daytime again. See if it's all done now. I love how I'm not allowed in here and I just keep coming and going. Oh, circuit. So that's done now? Somehow? What about the 3D print? Oh! Okay, okay. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I have Did no that. idea. Okay. Did that. So we're gonna mess around with the Tesla coils now? Where's the missing part? So this? I don't know what that would do. Oh yeah, we also have the password actually. For the the other thing here. I have the clues I need. Time to figure out the correct sequence. Okay, the red shape is pressed neither first nor last. The red shape, they're all red. The green shape is pressed immediately after the diamond. Oh dear lord. Okay, we need to figure out the sequence, yeah? The blue shape is a star. Okay, so we have a blue star. Oh. Blue. Uh, can I do that and... Oh, did I need to light up? Can I do this and then... Oh, okay, cool. The purple shape isn't pressed first. Oh, so we need to make sure that the right color and when to press them. Okay. The square isn't red. The purple shape, the diamond, and the circle are pressed in order. Purple, diamond, and... Oh, God. 
the triangle is pressed second. The circle is pressed before yellow. The yellow is last. Okay, so it's circle and then yellow. The red is neither first nor last. Green after diamond. Do you think they all have to be a different color? Yellow is last. Blue shape is a star. Purple isn't first. Purple shape diamond and the circle are pressed in order. Green is pressed after diamond. I see. Diamond and circle are pressed in order. I see. Uh, so that's green. Okay. So purple is not first. The square isn't red. What colors do we have left? Yellow. Okay, so this can only be yellow or purple. The square has to be yellow or purple. Oh, and yellow is pressed last. Red shape is neither first nor last. We still have a diamond and a triangle that we, that we haven't figured out. Green shape is after diamond. Okay, so it's diamond, then circle. Oh yeah, and then purple, whatever purple is. It's before that. Uh, purple is not first. And we said yellow is last. Okay, so we're putting square at the end. In this case, Let's see if it's... Oh, triangle is second. Oh, triangle might be purple. Let me see. Purple, diamond, and circle. Purple, diamond, Could be. If we make this purple... That will make this red, a red diamond. Would that work? Oh no, because the diamond would be red then and it can't be first. Oh no, wait, that's that's correct. What am I saying? Then it would be star, triangle, diamond, this and this. Hey! Science! <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Lightning rod. Whoa. Whoa, it's so big! Initial power charge and gauge. Settings low. Why would I want to do this? Ellie's notes on Tesla Cole safety. Choose level, power on, charge power, engage system. Warning, follow safety measures during tests. This machine is deadly. Do not exit control booth while high level tests are in progress. If on the floor during high level tests, stay in the cage. Use caution when exiting booth while low level tests are in progress. Okay. Always discharge capacitors before, oh, capacitors. We have those in a box before working on the coil. Safety systems reintegrated and confirmed working. Restart testing tomorrow. Occasional surges observed. Source unknown. Testing on hold until source of problem confirmed. Cause of technical difficulty still undiagnosed, but gave required coil demonstration per Victor's demand. Some discrepancies in power levels still observed. When I came back after getting rid of that annoying assistant, parts were missing from coil. Have to track them down again. Hmm. Okay, why would we wanna wanna work on the? Why would we wanna turn that on? I wonder. Also, where do those capacitors go then? Like, is this just fixed now? Oh, Time ah! To place the capacitors, like Ryan's note in the book described. Ryan's note in the book. Oh. Ryan replaced part in the spark gap with one mate to her modifications. The, to lower voltage stretch, we replaced the old single cap with a multi miniature capacitor. MMC will charge only when there's no other cap of a similar color in the same row or column. Oh, so like Sudoku. Okay, so. Oh! Oh, okay. I thought they were like, like one by one, but oh, this is different. Okay. 
Uh, some are singles. These are singles. This is a fiver. Two, three. Oh, this is a full one. A four. Oh. Yeah, that changes things. Okay. This is a full row. Let's start with that. See how far we get. If we do... Oh, this one's on the bottom. How can I turn them? Oh! <gasps> no! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I can also turn them. Okay. Okay. Same row or column. Yeah. All right. Oh, big brain. Holy shit. That was so quick. So now it's fixed. What do we do here? What is this for? Can we wait? The thing isn't uh, out anymore, is it? No. So I guess it retracts when we walk out of this. Um, I still don't really know why we would want to test That's this, done. but can't check that off yet. Check. Still have to do that. Ah, oh, so it's, we're not done. Still have to do that. We're not done repairing it yet. Do we have another part we need to... Oh, the circuit. So we put the 3D printed thing in there. We've solved the capacitors. But I don't know where to put the circuit. Where does it go? We can look at the floor here, but... I don't think... You have to test it. Let's see if we can. Uh, what did she say again? <laughs> Oops. Eh. Level, power, charge, engage. Power, charge, engage. What are you doing? That coil is deadly. Mess with that again, I'll be the least of your worries. Get out! Okay, so we need to do it when he's not around. Got it. What were you doing in the lab? I had a hunch I needed to follow up on. A hunch? I have a hunch. If you keep screwing around in the lab, you'll either end up fired or dead. Stay out of the lab! Okay, but... Um, should we try and raise... This first? Do you think it matters? Isn't that it? Whoa. Wait. That's it, isn't it? I'd better not do that while the coil is running. So what's the... We shouldn't go out though, but... Let's see it. Oh, the thing isn't out. Oh, you can just do all that while it's running. Hmm. Can I just turn it off again? of that is haven't done that okay um so here we are we have an audio card we haven't listened to we need to repair the small tesla coil for some reason but i don't know what we need for that and we need to investigate ryan still should we see if we can go talk to her Ding, 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 ding. 
Uh, I think she's on a different floor. Wafer is for the tiny coil. Oh, is that what that's for? Ooh. I see. I'll try that. Hi! Do you know how I can play a media card? Yeah, Nico's personal player. I meant to fix it earlier. Get me some Coco Mallows from Nico's office, and I'll have it working for you. From the candy machine? How exactly does that Coco thing work? Mallows? Here, this should do the trick. Oh, sweet. Thanks. Thank you. Mason says he was tormenting you with a cat because you hid it. Is that true? It was self-defense. Fuzzy little freak ball had it coming. <laughs> I'll let you go. Later. It was self-defense. Um. Okay. Something must be broken. Ah. Oh. Oh, the thing on the the dude's whiteboard. Although I don't think he had a melody on his whiteboard. Oh, those don't work. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's one of those. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, it works. Okay, candy machine. Zakande. Oh, Simon says. Hmm, it looks like a memory lock. Okay, what did she want again? I forget what she wanted. Coco Mallows. This one. Great, just what Ryan wanted. Uh, you're not gonna grab more? I would totally grab another bar for myself. I will show you What's up? the way. Here's the candy Here's bar. Here's the candy bar you wanted. Great. I'll start fixing it right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good. Can we grab the head? We can. Nothing else, though. We have two parts, yes. But what about the other two parts? Hmm. Hmm. That's done. Yay. Haven't still have to do that. Haven't done that. I was going to say investigate Ryan. Um, let's see if I can look at Mason's desk, although I think he's working here right now. This. Oh, yeah, that's just the keys. Okay, it's just a key overview. It's not anything we can play. Interesting that they're capital letters and then regular letters. I don't think the hint is in here, right, of what the melody is. Yeah, we need to find a melody somewhere. Or maybe once we repair the cat, the cat has a melody. Who knows? <laughs> I have one piece of evidence. It still says explore the lab. I wonder what I haven't found yet. Did we? Yeah, we did get something here, didn't we? Hmm. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's just light coming through. What do we put in here? Oh, the Chrome Meister Oscillator 3000. I need to close the box first. 
What is this for? Okay. Sure. We can listen to the media card? Okay. We can shake something real hard. Yeah, we still have this beaker as well. Maybe we can shake some kind of solution. I honestly wouldn't know. We'll find out. Oh, she's still gone. Where does she go to fix it? Maybe we should sleep on it? In Nico's office? There's an audio player here? Oh, is this it? Oh! Oh, there's a card reader here! Oh. It's Wednesday. I've clocked 49 hours of work this week. I found another note from Ryan on my door this morning. This time a threat. She continues to surprise. Hmm? She's smarter than she looks. And then later she confronted me by the couch in the lounge and handed me another of her threats. I didn't bother taking it with me. The coil as is, it's little more than a plaything. I can't get the proper flow using the original design. I've got schematics drawn up for an entirely new prototype, but maybe that step isn't necessary. The math is solid, and the small-scale experiments are running at an efficiency of about 80%, and that's using the old design. I checked in on Mason's work today. He has the strangest attraction to exactly the work I'd most like him to avoid. Hmm. I'm starting to question if he knows what he's toying with. I've made my message to him clear. Yet he keeps going back to the rough materials application portion of the process. Perhaps it's time Gray tightens up the network to keep him in line. Maybe it's time to replace him. He's been less of an asset than I expected anyway. Hmm, that makes him pretty sus as well. I'm finding myself spending more and more time down in my study in a state somewhere near sleep. Viewing the schematics in my mind, looking for flaws. Doesn't make sense that I'm finding none. Hmm. Still, that's done. Okay. Let's talk to Ryan about that. Hmm? Hi. Bye. Later. Um. Haven't done that. I guess not with her. <laughs> I guess we're talking to everyone else. Say your piece, then leave me in mine. What was your relationship with Nico? I knew him. Same as anyone else here. I don't buy that. Victor told me he was instrumental in getting you this job. Could be true. Strange world. Crazier things. Man. Do you blame Ryan for what happened to Nico? Yes. Do you think she tampered with the machine on purpose? Am I supposed to feel better if it's an accident? Hmm. You and Nico were friends, weren't you? Friends? Yes. Couch and I guess lounge. that doesn't oh, matter right. now, does it? I'd still like to know. Fine. Then just give me a break. All right, champ? Fair enough. There was a time when we were friends. When was that? Back when he was alive. <laughs> give me some empty space to stare through. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> some people... How do I get there, though? Oh! I found an easter egg! I don't know how I did that, but I was clicking random things. You can barely see it on the couch. Pink something. Oh! Unless you're dying to see the inside of a body bag, I suggest you rethink your plans. You're smart enough to know what's going to happen if you don't stop. Consider what I'm saying. If you run the coil in that configuration, it's gonna kill you. For the last time, no, if you make me do this, you're gonna end Whoa, up dead. better follow up on this. I'll be personally accepting my award at the Visionaries in Science Conference on the night of the 24th. They certainly believe I can do what I say. You'd better as well. Huh. Wait, we're in the night shift, aren't we? Hmm. Well, it still could mean, like, Ryan knew that he was doing something dangerous and was, like, telling telling him to stop, right? 
I found these notes in the lounge. Is this your handwriting? Yes. So you admit to threatening Nico? It looks like a threat, but it really isn't. What else could it possibly be? It says right here. I know what it says. Then what? A warning. It means just what it says. He wanted me to build something that could kill him. I had to make sure he knew what he was working with. Do you have anything to prove that's true? You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please. Hmm. So she refuses to talk. Can't check that off yet. Check. Oh, explored the lab is done. <gasps> okay, I only have investigate Ryan left. What do I do? I have barely any evidence. Hi. Any word on the background of the crew here? Funny thing you ask. Yeah, sort of. Nico has a file, but it's classified. Surprisingly, so does Gray. But we don't know what's in there. Interesting. But Nancy, you can't tell anyone. I had to sort of bend the rules. Hmm. I'd better get going. Bye. What's up? Ryan's been sneaking into the facility. I think she might be trying to avoid ending up in the security logs. Just spitballing here. But do you think you could take her in a fair fight? <laughs> what kind of question is that? The kind of question you ask someone who is kicking it with killers. You seem pretty certain she's guilty. The first thing you learn in criminology is that most cases are easy. The person who looks guilty usually is. Hmm. Did you find anything on Ryan? Nancy, Ryan's alibi stands up. She couldn't have killed Nico. What? How do you know? She told the police that she won an award. That was her alibi. But it left her with enough time to sneak back in. It wasn't airtight. Close, but not perfect. There was nothing in the crime database. But I had a hunch. I went to the journalism lab and used their photographer database. The ceremony was a national story, so a bunch of freelancers put their shots up for sale. You found pictures of Ryan, but what does that prove? By itself, nothing. But two, count them, two different photographers submitted photos of Ryan standing near a visible clock. Hmm. She couldn't have made it back in time. Yes, that was the finale I was building to and was excited to get to say out loud that you interrupted. Oh, Deirdre, you're amazing. That is a genuine compliment. <laughs> okay. I'm working on tracking down the photographers, but it could take weeks. For now, it looks like Ryan's in the clear. But isn't it like she could have just set the machine to malfunction? I mean, she knew it was bad and she told him it was bad. So if he turned it on and died from that, then isn't that just what happened? I don't know who to focus on now that Ryan's been cleared. I can't help you there. Whoever did this was very calculating. It's sort of too bad that the rest of your suspects are scientists. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were starting to enjoy working with me. No. Mm -hmm. It's just that I'm bored and I'm completely out of episodes of TDPD. TDPD? Is that a... what is that? The best show on television ever and you've never heard of it nancy he was a linebacker and now he's a crime tracker <laughs> ring a bell officer downs anything <laughs> sorry never heard of it sometimes it's like you live on mars ryan was threatening nico i found one of her notes what's it say unless you're dying to see the inside of a body bag i suggest you rethink your plans I admire the directness. Well, good. I was hoping this paper would be short. Ryan says the notes were taken out of context. Say what now? Yep. <laughs> yeah, in my experience, no one buys that line. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Victor here. Did you know Ryan was threatening Nico? Do you have proof? I found a note. But she claimed it was a warning, not a threat. <laughs> Likely story. It'd be very convenient for her if you believe that. I found a way to prove that Ryan's innocent. It wasn't her. 
What? What do you mean? What? Photos from her award ceremony prove she couldn't have made it to the lab in time. It's not possible. That can't be true. Oh, right, because there is the secret evidence. card. I'm sure it was her. Deirdre's Entry. working on getting the photos over to the police now. They'll reopen the case and everything will just stall out again. Okay, what's my next move then? I don't know. I have to think. Hmm. Track down some new leads. Follow up with Victor. Check. Did that. Did that. <laughs> Did that. Still have to do that. Okay, so we're back to square one, really. Oh, Ryan wants to talk, sure. What is this? Hi! You really are innocent. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Don't be sorry. It's the smartest course of action. Look, I gotta ask you. You're not really here for a new investor. You're here to look into what happened to Nico, aren't you? I think we should just say yes. Yes. I figured the questions you were asking were a little odd considering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I believe someone from this lab killed Nico. Anything you need from me, you got it. She's Why supposed are you to being be so helpful. Nico may have had some crazy, downright dangerous ideas, but he was a good man. His killer deserves to be punished, whoever it is. I like that Nancy's supposed to be undercover and she's literally going around being like, hmm, where were you on the night that it happened? <laughs> I'll let you go. Later. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> Whoa, someone attacked me? Oh, oxygen. Ah. Oh no, it's locked. Hello? Nancy? Is that you? Are you okay? I'm locked in. Why is Ellie here? Oh, what? There's no air flowing in. How do I get out? Stay calm. Look for a way out. Events, see if you can crawl out of the air ducts. Where? Vince? It's pretty hot in here. I'd better find my way out as quickly as possible. Oh god. What's that? Oh. Hmm. Wait. I should... Ugh. It's hot. Ah! Ah! Where's my camera? Oh god. I need pictures. Eh. Okay. Turn around. That's where I came from. Good. Okay. There's letters on all of these. Oh my god, it's so big. There's too many! Okay, I just need to find my way out. Oh my god, it goes forever. What are you doing here? Back off, old man. I said, what are you doing here? And while I'm at it, what's in the bag? And I said, back off. Hey, let go! I don't want to see you here screwing around after hours. Are you crazy? This is mine, leave me alone! Hmm. Yeah, you better run. Can we go through here? What were they arguing about? Ah, oh, we made it out. Okay, those signs are probably important for later, aren't they? Um, what is he shredding? What's he doing in there? What do you want? What were you shredding? Nothing. It didn't seem like nothing. Leave it alone. What were you saying to Mason earlier? Nothing you need to worry about. You seemed mm. a little angry. I was. 
I got locked in the lab and almost died. That's so? Yes. Someone turned off the oxygen. I had to crawl out the vent. Hmm, smart. Most wouldn't have thought of that. Do you have any idea what happened? Hmm, nope. I could have died in there. This is a lab. It's not to be taken lightly. Forget that and you will end up dead. I better get going. He's Bye. weird, but it might not be him. Mason Vince. Wait, where was Ellie locked up? She said she was locked up too, wasn't she? Yeah, maybe Ellie's being very sus. But she did give, give us the idea to crawl into the vents, though. Yeah, she's not here. I'll check the lab. Oh, you want to check the shr what he shredded? Ooh, that's a good idea, actually, for me. <laughs> I'll check in the lab first, gotta make sure Ellie is okay. It would sound more like Mason, maybe. Well, no one's here. We were in there. So where would she get locked up? She would need to have like a, an intercom thing near, right? Hmm. Cat part under his desk. Oh, really? Uh, let's see. It could be Ellie, honestly. Like she could show up again later at some point. Oh! Damn! That was hard to see. Is there something different here? I need to get this to add up correctly. Okay, Ellie's cell phone. I need to figure out whose card this is. Okay. Like, add up correctly what to how? What do they- do they all need to total up to the same thing? What's this? 12? 9, 10, 11, 12. 12? 12. 12. Yeah, they're all 12 now. The clue is on her desk. Strange. What's Ellie up to with this? Hmm. Each set is 15. Okay. And a code. Fifteen. And you guys are saying nine is in the middle? Nine, ten, fifteen. Fifteen is very high. Well, that wouldn't be possible, because then nine and eight is already 17, so that's too high. Let's see. Nine. So six. Yeah. Ah, uh, so now we can't do that, right? So that's eight. How much do I need? Seven? Yeah. Okay, so it needs to be a higher number in the center. Wait, it can't be seven either, because then it's seven and that would be seven and seven. Okay, so it's not that. Six and one is seven and eight. Seven and six is thirteen and two. Nine and six is fifteen, so it's too high. Maybe it needs to be five then. Seven and five is twelve. 15, 8, and 5 is 13, 11, 14. Yeah, there you go. I thought they hated each other. What's going on here? Got New York on the phone. I'll conference you in camp right now. Final hand yet. Can we meet up tonight? 
No, not after work's finished. Your stupid schedule. Make it early AM. K. Okay. Palo Alto said no. Big surprise. Chicago group? You work on Chicago? Are they both the bad guys? Their lead researcher hates me because you were awful to her. Okay, I'll do it. Are they trying to run away with Nico's, like, research? Chicago says maybe. They seem leery. I'm too scared to be super rich, Chicago. They said there are holes in the theory. They're trying to play you. But they are. there are holes in the theory. If you can't understand the material, just say so. Anyway, if there are holes now, nothing we can do. Should have thought of that when Nico was alive. Well, we didn't, so now it's on you. I've got enough on my plate. And I don't? Fine, I'll take care of everything you can't handle, as usual. Nice comeback. <laughs> huh. They might both be in on it. And Mason? Let's go get the dude out of his office. There he goes. I bet I could tape this back together. Okay. Take it and leave. I know just the place we can tape things back together. Or was it the lounge, actually? Wait, where was it? Here. I need to figure ah. out what was on this page before Gray shredded it. Okay. This looks like an edge piece. Excess? Excessive? Okay. This is a side piece. Don't know about the drawings. Um, yes. No. No. Nope. Yes. It's this one, then this one, then this one. Okay, then. Maybe like that. Oh, the music, hello. Now to find a way to take this with me. What was put into safekeeping? I'd better look into that. Wait, can I read it? Excessive corona and breakouts reduced. Electrostatic shielding levels now ideal. Possible military applications place in safekeeping. Oh, this must be a puzzle thing. Like, rotate. 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 Like three times, two times, one time. Adjust gauge of copper. Reconfigure capacitors and pendants value. Higher Q factor possible. System calibrated to latest test settings. Wave generator indicating frequency nearing target range. Resonance circuits between primary and secondary causing some interference. Consider alternate option or combining findings from tests, blah, blah. Did that? Hmm. Oh, I could have done the keycard thing as well, couldn't I? If I put it in his keycard reader. There was a cat part by the shredder. Oh, we have to go back. We have to go back! Oh, we still have time. Uh, save. <laughs> Is he back? No. 
Oh, I didn't even see that. What's the that? The kill switch for the Tesla <gasps> coil. Why does Gray have it? Oh. Uh. This was the card that opened the lab the night of the murder. Okay, is that all we had to know? Still have to do that. That's done. Okay. Now get out of here. Quick. He's gonna come back. Ah! Okay. Wait, so Ellie had the cards that was used to get into the lab the night of the murder. But Gray had the kill switch. Do you think it was all of them? What's been placed in safekeeping? With something like this. Have we seen this anywhere? Like hooks? On the wall somewhere? Coat hangers? Kind of looks like it, yeah. Oh, Gray's office. He has a coat rack? He's gonna come back any second. Oh! Gray's shredded notes seem to mention this was important. Okay, we can only rotate them one way. One, two and a half. One and a half? Or quarter. Yeah, one, two and a half, maybe? That's one rotation. One and a half? I honestly don't know. This one looks like three quarters. Doesn't it? Two, one and a half, one. That's that. One and a quarter. Two and a half. Two, 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 two. That's two and a half, right? One. Twenty-five. Ah. Get out of there! I think I just got it. Gray's shredded notes seem to mention this was important. What does it do? Oh. Okay. Doctor of Physics? What's someone with a PhD doing working in security? So, it feels like they all were doing it. Okay, take that. Okay, he's definitely gonna come back, so I need to reset. Because I'm gonna get caught. All of them? I mean, it would make sense that they're all in on it, because who else would be better to edit the security footage than Grey himself? Yeah, except Ryan, everyone tried to maybe steal. Oh, do we have all the parts now? Oh, we're missing a body, I guess. Oh wait, is it in the journal? Yeah. I forgot I had to press play. That's Nico going in, right? Gray leaving. That wasn't there before. Oh. Gray? Is this the unedited tape? If it is. Wait, what's that code in the corner? Yeah, this? I was looking at that. 1110101. Isn't that binary? Hmm. Check. List of book titles. Condemned. Oh! The book's in his office. Let me see. Oh, not here. 
Well, there are books here, but there was is it the here these. Oh, we can grab them now. Condemned elephant's name. Topsy. Um. V is I R. Ohm's law. Oh, is that what that mean? That equation is. Where is that? Tesla's good friend. Oh, Twain was his good friend. Right. I forgot about that. Element 74. That's tungsten. Incorrect radio patent holder. That must have been Edison, right? Oh, it's Marsoni. Oh, yeah, we did read about him. I don't see him. Oh, this one. Marsoni's. 1893 Colombian Expo site. Oh god, where was it again? Uh, there's Chicago here. And Sagramore's fellow knight. I saw something about Lancelot. Oh! What's this? Faraday cage is starting to fail. Have sent a materials request to Victor. May need to refabricate the cage before winter. Ellie should be made aware of the issue, of course. As long as it's only the two of us using the coil, it should hold for a while longer. Reminder, call Victor to have him expedite the materials before something disastrous happens. Photosensitive paint, Faraday materials, magnets, USB drives. Science desk at Tribute fabricating stories about my work. Add to media blacklist. More research materials are missing today. Keep closer watch on Ellie. What was Nico working on? Is uh, this some sort of code? This is the the music for sure. Wait, I can click this? Oh. Okay. It's a mystery. Let's see. Bum 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 bum. Um, Nico's Diary 2. Friday. The hours have gone negative this week. Friday. The news of the announcement has gone far beyond what I wanted. I've lost control over it. And we're not ready. Gray's been helping me comb through all the unsuitable work. I've had to step up my own security. I can't be too careful now. The mood in the lab has been tense for a long time, but there has been a shift. A sudden calmness to my enemies as of late, as if they're planning something. Paranoia has always come creeping into the back reaches of my mind when I stretch myself too far, but I've not been overextended. Quite the opposite. Everything has been going smoothly with the energy project. This, I fear, isn't paranoia. I find myself unable to trust anyone here, but I can't leave the work. Not until it's announced. There's electricity in everything, but we don't know how to see it because we perceive it to be scarce. Always looking for exotic solutions. Exotic and costly. Victor once warned me to take it easy with the announcement. The world economy is built on expensive energy. To flood the market could cause a collapse, but to continue mm. to hide the resources we have, to deprive those who need them. I see why Tesla liked his pigeons. They fly only where they're directed, and never question the effect the beating of their wings will have on the skies and the world below. Victor's starting to look more and more suspicious, hmm. too. Cat part in the bedroom? Where? Cat tail? Oh, that's a tail? Oh, I did not realize. Haven't done that. Hmm. Still have to do that. That's done. I wonder what would happen if we put this in. 
Should I maybe try and put the first line in? <clears throat> oh wait, it doesn't continue though, so this might be its own thing. Uh, that's the first line. The bottom numbers are binary. Wait, you mean these? I think it all goes left to right, like this continues. <laughs> That's the first whole line. You need to scribble to make the dots that represent the number. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh my god. Okay, wait. So you're saying that... Where is that binary thing again? Upstairs? So you're saying that 9 is blue, red, red, blue blue, red, red, blue, but how do we know which ones to cross out? Blue or red? Red is scribbled out. So the middle two? Every. Ah, okay. Then ten is this. Four is this. Six, three, twelve, thirteen, two, one, eleven, twelve, seven. Eight, thirteen. Wait, this is. Oh, it's another seven. Play every fifth letter above on the coil. Okay, I'll give that a try. Wait, what should I say? Every fifth letter, letter above. Play on the coil. Every fifth letter. One, two, three, four, five. 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 These must be the notes Nico mentioned to play. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Take another picture! That's cool. I like this. This is a big puzzle. That's done. One, two, three, four, five. Do, 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 do. Okay. We have an A. We have a G. We have a B. We have an E. We have, I think, what is a G? An A. G. D. B. C. G. E. F. D. C. The closer I come to the answer, the more I appreciate the magnitude of this discovery. I fear that I can no longer trust those around me. I cannot allow my research to go wasted. Unknown. So to find the hidden knowledge, illuminate a black light under the glow. Huh. 
Aha. Check. Can't check that off yet. Okay. Uh, people are saying the last cat part is here. Do you know where it is? Because I am useless when it comes to finding them. We need the torso. Near the switches you pulled at the beginning. Where was that? Here? Oh! Oh! We got it! I bet we put that together in Ryan's lab, right? But it's... We can't get in there right now. Um, illuminate a black light under the glow. Do you think we can talk to Gray about the video? What do you want? Can you explain these emails? Depends. Can you explain what you're doing with confidential information? <sighs> I found it. Answer my question. Hmm. Don't want to. Damn. Get out. Don't you got something better to do? Is there any reason you would have entered the lab right before Nico died? No. Enough. No more questions. Why won't you leave it alone? Because someone killed Nico. I want to know who. Why? What do you mean, why? No one deserves that. Whoever did it should be locked up. Or worse. What's someone with a PhD doing working in security? There's nothing wrong with what I do. Well, I didn't say there was. It just seems like you could do something more in line with your schooling. I like what I do. No one respects real work anymore. Hmm. Something doesn't add up about your position here. Leave it. Nico must have known about your qualifications, but he put you in security, which means he kept you around because... Because he felt bad for me. Fine. Let my friend take care of me. Happy? If that's mm. true, you have a strange way of paying back the favor. You were threatening him in those emails, and something tells me you were leaking his work. That's not true. Whoever your source is, they're wrong. Do you know why Mason and Ellie would be spending time together? I thought they hated each other. I have a theory. What is it? Secret. Mm-hmm. I get the sense Nico was protecting you. Why? Couldn't read his mind then. Still can't now. I'll let you go. Dude yeah, isn't yeah. giving us anything. Ah, <sighs> okay. Should we try and put the cat together? I, I'm assuming that's in Ryan's lab we do that, right? We could try and see if we can find... No, wait, Ellie isn't around, so... They're both... Neither of them... Oh! Glad you made it through that lock-in. That could have been She's real, back. real bad. What happened back there in the lab? I don't know. You're lucky you got out. Really lucky. Is this your card? Nope. Pick a card, any card. Why were you spending time with Mason? I thought you two didn't get along. We have to meet up to coordinate experiments once in a while. You and Mason are working on a project together. Something secret. You're wrong. Then why spend so much time together? We have a lot to coordinate right now. After Nico died, you left for a while. That's yeah, I don't true. trust her anymore. Where did you go? Home. You mean back to where you grew up? Of course. I wouldn't call Colorado home. Why not? Between you and me, I'm looking to get out of here as soon as possible. Why? Even if what happened to Nico never happened, Colorado never welcomed me with open arms. Hmm. Are you sure you don't have another reason for wanting to leave? Yes, I'm sure. When you left, I understand you took all of your work with you. It's my work. I need to keep it safe. Keep it safe? From whom? I just meant... in general. Hmm. What made you decide to come back? The police. Did they force you to come back? They were persuasive. I don't know if they were going to force me back, and I really didn't want to find out. 
This card I found, according to the record, it's the one that opened the lab the night Nico died. What do you mean? It's in the log. That was just a glitch. The video shows just one person entering the lab, Nico. What were you doing with Nico's things? How did you find those? So you were hiding them? Stay out of my things, hun. You don't know what you're messing with. Hmm. You never said why you hid some of Nico's work. I'm not supposed to have them, but I see you get that. If you have to ask why I'd go out of my way to understand how someone like Nico thought, then you obviously don't realize what a big deal he is. That, and he wanted to keep them from Mason. He hated Mason. Did he say why? Honey, would you ask anyone to explain why they hate Mason? Did you think Nico's work was important? Not was. Is. Important enough to kill for? Yes. More than once. Whoa. What do you mean by that? Look around. Life isn't just life anymore. It's plugged in all the time. People live in this weird dream world of their own creation. We're running out of power and fast. Imagine the jolt when we all wake up together. Nico cracked it. A way to harvest the electricity that's already there all around us. Or so I heard. I never saw his work. His work is so important, it can't be measured in money. It's pure power. Economic, political, military, and literal power beyond measure. Wars have been fought for far less. Can you walk me through what happened the night Nico died? This isn't something I should talk to you about. I know, but my boss would really like to know. Look, it was a hard night for me. I'd like to keep it in my rear view. According to the police report, Nico had been dead for 30 minutes before you called 911. How'd you get the police what report, happened? huh? <laughs> I tried, but the phones were out. What about your cell phone? I must have left it at home that night. Mm, convenience. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Huh. I don't know about that. Hmm. Very sus. Robo kitty time? Yeah, I gotta make it daytime. Her cell phone and the cart that were used to go into the lab that one time were found together. She waited 30 minutes before calling the cops, saying the phones were out. Does that even happen anymore? The phones are out? When are the phones out? Suspicious, I tell you. Suspicious. Hehe. <laughs> Hi. So, what do we do with this? Do you want an egg? <laughs> oh! Oh, angry! It's just an achievement. Oh, okay. It's like sometimes it's like. Should we just leave him here then? Hi! I was locked in the photo lab. I think someone tried to kill me. The air was off. Yeah, I had to crawl out the vent. No one was trying to kill you. How can you be so sure? The only one who knew about the air cycling off was me. I'm working on the vent system. If someone locked you in, they weren't trying to kill you. Then what were they trying to do? Hmm, trying I don't to know, buy time. But I'll make sure the air stays on. Still, be careful out there. I think there may be something weird about the security video from the night of the murder. Could you take a look at it with me? Yes. This track is something Nico had me add, so the security video could also do double duty as a data set. He'd like to track duty. the ebb and flow of the electrical current throughout the year. It meant something to him. 
I've heard that theoretically we could... Wait. What? Right there. And there. Let me get a closer look. It's true. What? Get trigger checks in. in the signature. This video was tampered with. Someone followed Nico into that lab and edited themselves out of the tape. I'm pulling this off the network before. What just happened? Access that the footage must have been flagged. Whoever killed Nico knows what we just saw. Where are you going? Anywhere but here. <laughs> if you're smart, you do the same. Hmm. Okay, so someone just got flagged that we saw it. Uh-oh. Uh, I guess we could talk to Mason now. Security breach in Tesla Coil Lab. Warning. Uh... Oh, not here. Wait, what does that mean? Should I go to the lab? Yeah, she just dipped. I mean, I would too. I'd be like, ah, someone knows we're here. Bye, gotta go. <laughs> Mason, you here? Oh, Mason's not here. Hmm. Suspicious. Okay. I guess we should go to the lab. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, I thought there was someone in the window. Mason, what are you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I was here? going to ask you the same thing. Yeah! This might come as a shock, but no one wants you lurking around here. Why don't you just leave me to my work? I'm not lurking. What's that? Wait! Wait, stop! Someone's activated the machine! You have to shut it all down! Please, hurry! Wait, do I go upstairs? I need to find a way to turn off all of the power. <sighs> no, not again! Oh, God! Oh, I don't know how I did it! This is gonna be so hard! Oh, no! Oh, God. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. That don't sound too good. There, there must be a way you can do it in, like, five moves, you know? Cut the cords. Yeah. I can turn this corner off on its own. And this corner... On the, yeah, that's that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to leave it on the corners, but I'm trying to like even out the patterns, you know. Last time I think I just kind of like did it accidentally and then I was like, oh, <laughs> this works. <laughs> oh, this would be a, this is a good pattern to end on, but they all need to be the same color. I need to find a way to turn off all of the power. Ooh. There, got it. Thank you. <laughs> I just saw I it! Turn that on. No clue! Look, maybe we can keep this between ourselves, okay? What are you doing? Oh, Nancy, there he is! We should have a talk. Come on. Hey, why nice is he job. here in person? You saved me some paperwork back there. It's unfortunate that we couldn't be meeting under better circumstances. What's that key it for? wasn't exactly fair of me to ask you to hey, take no, on we're... such a large task. <laughs> Big it surprise. looks like your ride is going to be Thanks. a little late. Get settled in the lounge and please don't touch anything. I'm going to need all of your passes and keys. Where did you even get this? No, I, d I don't even want to know. 
What's going to happen next? Snow clears, you leave. I leave, hire a professional next time. Killer gets found, killer goes to jail. So what's your next step with the investigation? I'm sorry if I've been anything but crystal clear. I want you off this case. Completely. Mm. You've caused enough trouble here. I don't trust him. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't done that. Check. Did that. Hmm. Check. Find a way back into the lab. Illuminate a black light under the glow. I still don't really know what that means. And how are we going to get him out of here? Ask Ryan how to get in the lab. Oh, that would be a good idea. I was wondering if this other card still works. The unknown card. We could try. I need to find another key. Okay. Um, but yeah, in that case, Ryan is a good guess. I don't have a black light though, or UV light or anything. Did you hear? A snowstorm of gloriously epic proportions is bearing down on us. I might get to break out the snowmobile. Or we might get snowed in like last time. I need a new key card. Can you help? Well, sorta. Here, this should do the trick. Oh. Thanks. That was easy. I found a card in Mason and Ellie's office that was used to get into the lab the night Nico died. Why would that be there? I don't know yet. They both have their reasons to be angry at Nico. Reasons? Like what? He believed that scientific breakthroughs belong to everybody. Mm. Technology should they be want shared money out freely. Of it. That's noble. He took it to an extreme. He didn't put a dollar value on his work or anyone else's. Rumor has it he would incorporate their work into his own without asking. Mm. I don't think he understood what he was doing to them. He's a big name with stable funding. They're just scraping by, and Ellie's got major debt. Uh. Do you think either one of them could have killed Nico? This place is like a fortress. It had to be someone associated with the lab. So the way I see it, there's a 66% chance it was one of them. <laughs> what happens if a big storm hits? Honey, you stuck. got a big storm coming. Is there any way into <laughs> town? You could use the snowmobiles. But those are for emergencies only. Or things I can write off as emergencies in order to ride them. I need your help distracting Victor. I've got just the thing. What is it? Listen. Oh! That is awful! I know! Victor... I hate, hate it. Hate, hate, hates it. Like, Mega Super hates it to infinity. If I leave this thing running for more than a second, he'll be yelling at me to turn it off. Perfect. But Nancy, I also hate it. <laughs> I hate getting yelled at by Victor. So whatever you need to do, please do it quickly. Okay, I'll give you a minute and then I'll let her rip. Okay, I gotta hurry up then. So are we just trying to get the office key that was on his desk? Oh, he's already gone. Uh, what is that? What's that for? Is that the UV light thing? Hmm. Oh, fingerprints. Hmm. Why are there fingerprints on there? I don't have anything we can do with that. Black light. This That's what that was. What Nico was talking about. Oh. Wait, is it just like a handheld one? What do we do with it? Illuminate a black light under the glow. Under the glow of the. Oh. Victor's on the move. Run, Ryan. Okay. Do 
Should we try it in the lab? So we turn it on and then see what it does. Where do we use it? So what, wait, what did that do? It's on? This has to lead to whatever Nico was hiding. Enter the hex. Oh. Hex. A biometric fingerprint scanner. Oh. This could be a challenge. I see. Did that. Okay, now I need the fingerprint. Maybe now I can get the tape? Sure can. Is there anything I can do to convince you to give me some of your gummy Is there bears? anything I can do to convince you to give me some of your gummy bears? Candy. Yes. Victor is a candy hoarder. Liberate his sugar stash and bring it to me. Hmm. I'm sorry to ask again, but can you distract Victor for me? Dear ears and general feelings of self-worth, I am so sorry for what's about to happen to you. Your sad friend, Ryan. Okay. Let's go get that fingerprint. That might be Nico's fingerprint on that model. Got it. Great. Oh, what's that? What's that? Can we take it? I'll read it later. <laughs> Wait, did she actually take it? I don't know if she actually... What? Ryan wanted me to get candy from Victor. I <sighs> guess she must be tired of what's in here. Wait, she doesn't want this? I don't see anything else at the desk, though. Still have to do that. Wait, we can't use it as, like, as this? What do we do with a fingerprint other than this? Oh, shoot, I'm going to need to try something else. Okay. I mean, uh, realistically, it would be like a silicone thing, but... Fingerprints instruction in the book under Mason's desk. Let me see. Thanks for that. Hmm. So, what exactly happened with you and the coil? I, um, miscalculated. Why were you in there? You saved my life? I thank you. That's it. Conversation over. What were you and Ellie doing, spending time together? We weren't. I know for a fact you were. For a fact? Well, I know for a fact. You're wrong. Let me get back to work. Hmm. No offense, I can't work when you're hovering. Is this your card? Mine has my name on it. Ellie said this card wasn't hers. That's fascinating. Tell me more facts about the card. Fine. It's the one that opened the lab the night Nico died. That can't be right. It's in the log. That was just a glitch. The video shows just one person entering the lab. You were here the other night. So what if I was? Someone attacked me. You think it's me? It wasn't. Okay? Why do you seem so nervous? Shouldn't I be if someone's attacking people? Hmm. Any word on the storm? Has an answer for it's everything. It's gonna be bad. I'd get out of here before we get snowed in. I know I'm going to. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. It would make sense, though, if they don't really like each other, or if they 
do like each other, then they would stop you from checking each other's desks. Okay. Ah, there Not he is. Not a good time. Can I have some of your candy? What? Yes. Take all you want. Then let me get to work. Oh. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I got the candy. He has to take the whole bowl. <laughs> I mean, he's, he said take everything or take all you want. So I did. Just in case you were wondering, yes, Victor's yelling is starting to crush my soul a little bit. <laughs> I made a chart to illustrate my feelings on the situation. This line represents my happiness and well-being over time. You may notice the steep decline. This frowny face here is because this is the first time I've made a chart, and it turns out it's very boring. That is also why there is a dragon and a dog on the skateboard and other stuff. I got the candy you wanted. <laughs> then take. Take of my bears and be merry. <laughs> take of my bears. Thanks. <laughs> Ain't no oh, bad. for the fingerprints. Oh. I better get going. Later. But how do I attach them to it? Oh, maybe I put the gummy bear on the thing and then... <laughs> that was so funny. Whoa! Uh-oh. I was just gonna save. Death. Um... I need to replace all of these Oh no! No! Why are you gear puzzle? What are you doing to me? I don't want this! I don't like this! I don't even know what I'm doing! Phew! Good. Why'd they all fall off? Check. Did that. Still have to do that. Okay, how do I make a fingerprint from a gummy bear? Oh, shoot, I'm going to need to try something else. How do I combine them? Instructions in Mason's book? Uh, well then I'll have to wait until nighttime. Because he's right there and he won't let me near the book. Melt a gummy bears on a new wafer. Oh, I hope so. That would be great. Um, you need to create an etching of the fingerprint sample to use as a mold. Once the mold is prepared, gelatin can be melted down and poured over the mold. Sheet gelatin, gummy candies. The resulting gummy fingerprint will fool many fingerprint scanners. Okay. Create a fake finger to use on the scanner. Do you want to 3D print it? Create an etching of the fingerprint sample. Hmm. Oh, right, because that's... Oh, I remember. We made an etching and then went to the computer to actually use it. Uh, here, right? Oh, wait. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Now the wafer comes after, right? Hmm. We put something in there. Edge first. Use the burner in the lounge. Oh, oh yeah. Huh. We were missing a button. I need to find something to melt these in. 
Hmm. Any mugs? Oh, the beaker! Wait, where did the beaker go? Oh, can I do... <gasps> oh, I forgot I could do that. Uh, I need to make a fingerprint mold first. Okay. Well, and we need a button. We we don't have any button yet. Okay. So first we need to make the mole mold <laughs> the mole. <laughs> <laughs> Do I make the same etching solution as last time? The 314 HF3 Um 1 nitric acid. That was this one, right? think that's it hopefully not dead do we put that here <gasps> okay hopefully that works How long do you think we need to wait? Hot plate knob is in Gray's office on his desk. Oh. Is he a lunch dealer kind of guy? Where is it though? Do you think we have to get him out of here? I like that he falls for it every time. <gasps> it was here this whole time and I never saw it. Ugh. Ugh. I say. Okay, got the knob. Knobby. Or does it load it up into the computer now? Half a day for etching. I could sleep, but... I want to, if I, if I make it daytime, the mason's going to be there and I need his computer. I don't need mason's computer. Ah, what a beautiful day. In the lab. She's never- she hasn't been outside for like a full week now. Okay, there's a finger on there. Do we now just press gummies onto it? I don't know. Oh. Fingy. Okay. That's done. I guess that's all I need to do then. Now, make your guesses. Who do you think is behind everything? I think Victor. Wow, that's so cool! What a cool place! What are those? Success! The last test showed that wireless transmission as dreamed of by Tesla is possible. Tonight's test will confirm it. What today exists in my mind alone, tomorrow will be shared with the world. Ah! Okay, okay. That's the shaky machine. 
Whatever that's for. You think Victor and Gray? Hmm. Hmm. Needs a key? Hmm. Looks like it's powered off. Can you power it on? I can't do that yet. Okay. Oh, it's a spider. Diary. Oh, I do not care for business. The whole endeavor of turning a profit on the work of others is distasteful. I find much more value in the act of creation. Not that I have yet created anything. I've only ever understood more closely the world that is laid out plain for all to see. I understand why most find it so difficult to find the substance, the true matter of the universe for all of the distractions. These people are not short-sighted. The, there is simply too much to be seen. Just last week, a young engineering student sent me a letter asking if I was bitter about losing so much residual compensation for my work. It's particularly disappointing hearing this from a young scientific mind. He did not ask about the recently made public breakthrough with transverse waves. He had no curiosity nagging at him as to the transmission of his great force. He cared about money and little else. Solid proof he'll do well in the present day field of scientific research. Oh, this is so hard to read. It's almost giving me a headache. The new maid here must be fired. The roof must remain a haven. And the seed and crumbs for the pigeons must not be disturbed. I have spoken to her and have met resistance. So this is Tesla's diary. I must find someone who will handle this for me and soon. The radio waves continue to behave in odd, surprising ways. Clicks always together in a sequence continue to be observed in the lab. I have isolated any local and atmospheric disturbances from these events. Radio wave communication will not be limited to use on the planet. There is potential for other signals from other civilizations to be found. This is an uncertainty, but a perplexing uncertainty that I will continue to observe. Edison has asked after me, or so I've been told. I find it hard to believe and more, moreover, I don't care. If he is interested in meeting, it will only be because he, the world has become wise to his strategies. His career is continuing proof that if given the choice, the world much prefers a showman to a researcher. He is no doubt determined to prove that direct current has its merits, which it does. It has the unique quality of lining Edison's pockets in a way alternating current never would, never could. Colorado will not be forgotten. What I have proven there will lay the foundation for a new way of the world. Edison, Morgan, the others are locked into a way of thinking that will lead to segmentation and strangulation of resources. My work there, my work here is proving, has proven the earth is itself a conductive body. <laughs> the earth itself is charged, pulsing with electricity that we must simply urge toward our needs. The world is urging me to walk, but I must run. I have proven the need for a new facility on the eastern coast. With what I've established here, it is time to apply this on a larger scale. Radio waves will cross the Atlantic and return. The energy of the earth itself will flow on command, ceaselessly and without toil, without Edison's heavy hand. M? The man from... The military has written again. He is most keen, keenly interested in a scaled prototype of an energy ray. The prospect is interesting and entirely and entirely possible, but as it stands, I am too locked up in the questions of resonance. I am close to a result and sure of my work, yet not entirely sure of the next stage of application. It will no doubt factor into my work at the Eastern Lab. Still, the idea is somewhat interesting. Another scramble for funding has become the focus of my time. A week of work has been lost and surely more will follow suit. I must get someone to manage these affairs. Men in suits hoisting contracts 
a loft so often. See. Way into my path. Perhaps I could engineer a ray of some sort to clear mem from my surroundings. I don't know what that says, but we get the gist. A floppy? Oh, these are for the pigeon machine, aren't they? Those rings. I have seven of seven. Okay, great. Anything else you want here? I guess we leave this for now then? Listen to the audio diaries from Nico's study. Haven't done that. There's more? No, that's all the same thing. Hmm. Oh, this is still powered off, right? Okay, come back here later. Um, say, Victor, can you fuck off for a bit? I don't need to do this right now. Hmm. Um, should we just ask Ryan to distract him again? Poor Ryan. <laughs> What's Ryan? up? Ryan? Can you distract Victor for me again? Okay. <laughs> okay. I can. It's Tuesday. 26 hours of work this week. Off to a running start. Ryan's getting more aggressive with her demands. I'm reluctant to send her packing, but I will if I must. My safety is my primary concern. Which reminds me, the parts arrived today for the pigeon. 13, 6, 5, as expected. Should something happen to me, hopefully someone will figure out what that means. 13, 6, 5? Last night, I hit 90% efficiency with the suboptimal setup. Oop, whoops. Thanks to Ryan's threats, I could not carry out the plan I had been hoping. Yet these results mean that it's time to announce. Again, I'm viewing the schematics in my head, but now I have to think differently. I have to find the points in the design where someone could take advantage of the system and bend it to his will. Tesla was lucky to live before the nuclear age took full flight. He never had to scrutinize his work. He could brag about death rays or the earthquake machines he had, and the tyrants of the world wouldn't take notice. That's no longer the case. I don't think he understood the cost of destruction. To him, it was just the mechanics of the thing. When he attached the earthquake machine to his building, he didn't want to destroy it. It was about finding the perfect pattern. The resonant frequency of the building syncing up with the steady tap of his machine until the structure's myth of stability was exposed for what it was, a hopeful lie. I always like to think that's how Wardenclyffe came down, not with a wrecking ball, but with one of his unassuming little boxes set to frequency 37. 37? Wait, frequency. So that's that little shaky box, right? Figure out the importance of frequency 37. But what do we put in there? Oh, discover the pigeon secrets. What was Nico up to with a pigeon? This must be what Nico was talking about in his diary. 1365. Oh, binary. Uh, oh, where is it? Is that six? Is that and five? Oh, can I take some off? Or should I do it the other way around then? Something open. Whoa! Laser birds, 1902 patent. What's that mean? This must be the key to one of Nico's passwords. Damn. The 1902 patent. Oh, oh, I know what you mean. Okay. Uh, this book. 
the last part of it. I took a picture of it, actually. 1902. Patent. Apparatus for transmitting electrical energy. Patent number... 1919732 Victor oh yeah forget that that happens So why would that matter to this? What do we put in here that needs to be shaken at frequency 37? So 37, let's see, would be... Thirteen and eleven would be twenty-four. So I need thirteen. Then nine and four. This would be thirty-seven. Because thirteen and twenty-four... Thirty-three... Thirty-seven, yeah. So I don't know. I need to put something in there. Hmm, I can still look. Oh no, wait, that's hog rules. I was like, I could still zoom in here, so there must be something here, but that's not how it works. This must be the building Nico mentioned. Hmm. So, are you gonna shake that? Shake it, baby. Let's see. Put that in there. I need to find the correct frequency. See what happens. Oh, a key. You don't want that. Controls key. Ah. Uh, I should probably save that. Luckily. Okay. Oh no, not again! Ah, oh, that only did that one? Hmm. Not my best. One more. That's not gonna make it. This one is great, because it definitely triggers a couple. Hmm. Oh, that didn't go as far as I'd hoped. Okay, that did more than I thought. One chance. Uh, it's not going to be enough. Or? Wait. That did it. Password. Uh. Hey. Wait, another video? This must be the unedited footage. Oh. Let's see it. So gray leaves. And then uh, we see electricity. Victor. Oh. <laughs> He's like, oh, a camera. <laughs> Victor. He must have killed Nico. I need to find a way to get this evidence out. There's a USB right here. What was that? It's supercharged. Get it out of the lab. Check. 
Check. That's done. That's done. Okay. Oh. oh no, Nico Security. Of course. I bet oh. all of my electronics just got fried. Wait. So isn't is that a game over then? Nothing. The electromagnetic pulse from the door must have destroyed the USB drive. Hmm. That's done. That's done. <laughs> Find a way to safely get the video out of Nico's study to the police. Hmm. Can you must film? have gotten zapped by Nico's oh. security system. Damn. So you can't call for help either. I was going to film it with my camera. Oh, but you're going to make like a tiny boxed Faraday cage or something? Oh. Ryan would know most about it. Because she kept working on these things, right? I need your help. Big time. What? It was Victor. He killed Nico. Did you call the police? I couldn't. I had evidence, but it got zapped when I tried to take it out of Nico's secret lab. Secret lab? Zapped? What? I I'll explain later. I just need a way to get the video out without getting it ruined. You need to find a way to make a Faraday cage. That should get the drive out without wiping it. Mm -hmm. Get the drive out. I'll work on what to do next. Take this. It'll help. Uh, this will help me how? This box might be just what I need to build a Faraday container. This might work. Or maybe it'll backfire and electrocute you. What? Okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm just so happy we're gonna bust him. And also really scared he'll catch us and kill us all. I'm on a roller coaster right now. <laughs> Ellie and I'll gas up the snowmobiles and split up to double our chances of reaching help. Do not let him catch on. If he knows you're about to get the video out, he will kill you. Play it cool, Nancy. Goodbye. Bye. Where am I going to make the cage? Don't kill me. Dunk. I just need some desk space. I need to find some foil first. I must have seen some earlier. Foil? I don't need another board right now. The empty foil bag. Th this one in here. Oh, so I was so close! <sighs> Had the right idea. Sort of. Not really. Let's see if now we have everything we need. Time to make a portable Faraday cage. Hope this works. I can't do that yet. I can't do that yet. I don't think it's time for that yet. Uh. Then it's what? It's too soon for that. Okay. How do I know what you want? Collects conducts an electrical charge across its surface. Anything from large scale bills of metal mesh with copper grounds to a cardboard box wrapped in aluminum foil with a ground made from paper clip and a binder clip. Okay. That's it? This box should keep the drive safe. Wait, that's it? What? Well, what's this for then? Still have to do that. What's the components for? <laughs> a Faraday box uh... I need to transfer the evidence to a drive before Victor can destroy it I don't think we have any so I gotta get one somewhere oh spare USB drives ah 
Zora. <laughs> it's so funny that this is the drive that's gonna carry murder case evidence out here. <laughs> A little rocket looking thing. For the longest time, I had a little USB drive that was shaped like a teddy bear. <laughs> it's like this tiny. <laughs> it was so cute. This is the download button. Okay, it's transferred. All right, I just might be able to get this through the door safely. Okay, so now it's in the box. The escape plan. Well, let's hope that worked. <gasps> Gray, what happened? Gray, wake up! Are you okay? Oh no, I better get help. Damn. Oh, <gasps> Victor. Hello, Nancy. Hi. <gasps> You're oh. awake. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Victor, why are you doing this? Why'd you put me in the cage Stay if you wanted to kill lab. me? That was the one thing I asked you to do, and you couldn't. You see, Nancy, I knew Nico had something hidden in here. I just couldn't find it, which is why I asked you to stay out. You got away with murder. Why not make a break for it? Why the elaborate plan? Murder investigations don't just go away. Someone had to take the fall, Nancy. You were supposed to give someone a push. Mm. That friend of yours sold you short. That's why you're here. You were supposed to drum up enough evidence to get Ryan put away. But no, you had to screw that up. Then I handed you Ellie and Mason, handed them to you on a big silver platter that said, look how guilty these two are. You knocked me out, and then planted the key card. That should have sealed the deal, but you couldn't leave it alone. Hmm. I guess I should be congratulating you for being so sharp. It really is a shame I have to kill you instead. Goodbye, Nancy Drew! The cage won't last long against the coil. I'll need to find a way to get out without getting electrocuted. I bet Ryan's electrical components will help here. This must be the schematic <sighs> for the circuit. Oh god. <laughs> um shit. Wait, is this what I need to do? Uh no. Oh god, this doesn't mean any Oh god, this is like high school trauma coming back. Okay, resistors squiggly line. What's the little butt that those little butts? Inductor. Okay, how does it all fit on this? I need to get this working before it's too late. Uh, squiggly, squiggly, open thingy, capacitor, resistor, capacitor. What am I doing? Okay, and then this, this. Into a big, big square. That's this thing. Huh. There's three of those. Probably start with those because they can only fit. Oh no! <laughs> I can turn them. No! I, I think they can only fit there though. This I'm not sure about. This could go anywhere. Right? No, I, I don't want these. I think it's that. And then those need to be on either side. Then it's this thing. Then big boy. 
What's that arrow thing? A diode. Okay. Um... How many do I need? Squiggly. <laughs> I'm thinking so hard right now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is another one. Oh, I don't have any more of those. Oh, what is that? Transistor? This thing? Oh. Uh... That goes in between two of these? Oh, dear lord. What the fuck? Honestly, I'm just gonna fit them where they... Put them where they fit. And hope for the best. Would that do it? Oh, it's open here. I have no idea if it works. Um... At least there's some that I'm like, okay, those are definitely good because there's only so many places they can go. But these two are the same size, so these might have to be swapped. No, I think that was fine. Double check the path. <laughs> I don't even understand the path. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing! I don't know what this means! Okay, these are good, I think. Unless they... I don't know if the order matters. Got it. Oh! You should give me a chance to escape. What are you doing? Stop that! Oh, dude, don't run out. Dangerous. Ah! Avoid electrocution. Dear Hannah, Victor was rushed to the oh, hospital my God. and then to a courthouse where he was charged with the murder of Nico Jovic. He didn't die. Due to his attempts to subvert justice, he's been denied bail until his trial. Word is he's willing to strike a plea deal for leniency, but I doubt there will be much to be found. The potential buyers Victor had been courting came forward immediately. Hmm. It was quickly proven they had no idea about Victor's involvement in Nico's death. Regardless, they decided to cut funding for the lab immediately. I can hardly blame them. Mason snuck back into the lab the night after Victor's arrest and made off with a drive containing years of his and Nico's research. That's why he Gray went in there. Gray spent weeks chasing him down until he finally caught him trying to make a sale at the Technology of Tomorrow conference. After a heated public argument that sent the technology of tomorrow bloggers into a frenzy, the two Send reached Japan. an agreement. Gray promised all due credit would remain with Mason and Ellie, provided they assist him in finishing Nico's work. A video of the argument titled Epic <laughs> Dork Fight Epic was dork posted fights. online and went viral <laughs> almost immediately. Within two hours, Gray was fielding calls from philanthropic backers wishing to fund their new endeavor. Mason, on the other hand, was fielding date requests from viewers who clearly have a profound affinity for the lost art of arguing. Allie was surprised at first to hear that Mason wanted her to assist with finishing up Nico's work. She agreed to stay on until the first publication is completed. After that, she plans on doing whatever it takes to get back home. She's not sure what her next endeavor will be, but she's excited to make that decision alongside her family. Finding out what had happened to his best friend changed Gray almost immediately. Hmm. For the first time since his breakdown, he decided to fully re-enter the world of science. 
He took the lead on finishing Nico's work and opening the majority of the research up to the public. Some of the work he plans to destroy, as he promised. Huh. Although she had been exonerated, it wasn't until Ryan knew exactly what happened to Nico that she could begin to move on from what happened that night. She decided to stay with the team during the next research phase on the condition that she can personally address all safety issues before each experiment. Mm -hmm. More than anything, Nico wanted his work to make the world a better place. I'd like to think he'd be very proud to see the team working hard to prepare his work for public release. The mm -hmm. fact that Nico Jovic's name will be known the world over, while Victor's won't, again proves what I always believed. The world fondly remembers those who always give and soon forgets those who only take. I oh. can't wait to see you. Well, Love, Nancy. well, you say that, but... Uh, am I in here? <laughs> she says that, but, like, we just found out that Tesla was, like, a huge asshole the whole time. No, wait, not Tesla. Edison was, like, a huge dick, and he's more famous for electricity than Tesla is. I think. So I don't know if that's really that true. Who was Nikola Tesla's partner during the War of the Currents? Westinghouse. Pretty kitty. Acing the final test. Creating shockingly beautiful music. <laughs> Electrified running wireless energy test. Messing up Mason's desk. <laughs> I was too scared. <laughs> candy connoisseur sampling all of Nico's candy. <laughs> Playing the boards. Consistently raising alert. Frequent flights. Pigeon handler. Huh. I wonder what that's for. Getting more gummies. <laughs> Teaser. Oh, Thornton Hall would have been next. Oh. Around here they say it's a wicked place. Abandoned years ago Honestly, by a family who I kinda... can no longer take the endless nights when the restless spirits of the past haunted the grounds of Thornton Hall. I'm kind of sad that Jessel I did Thornton the fun ones first. Return, only to vanish without a trace. It's up to me to save her from the ghost of Thornton Hall. Mm, that one was so fun. I really like that one. This is one of the first ones I did. Hello? Anybody here? <laughs> Spooky. It's because I... I didn't I didn't think back then that I would play all of them. So I just like picked the ones... I played them out of order and just picked the ones that I thought looked cool. So that's why I played that one really early. Um, and it wasn't until we did a couple that I was like, you know what, we should just do all of them. And then went way back to the beginning and I've been playing them in order. But yeah, that was really, really fun. This is a, a good... A good Nancy. So, Deadly Device, Ghost of Thornton Hall. We did that one. So, Silent Spy is next. Nancy. Moira. Mother's death wasn't an accident. <laughs> the creepy messages I'm getting on my phone. Who do you think is sending them? Someone thinks you have special insight into the secrets that were lost with Kate Drew. Kate Drew. I know it wasn't an accident. The only other people who know are the people who killed her. Revenant's supposed to be this terrorist organization, but they tapped out ten years ago. Oh, Glasgow. I was wondering if it was Scotland, yeah. No, and neither have you. So she really wasn't a reporter? She was. I was quite good. But she was also one of ours. A spy? Aye. Aye. The colony operation has restarted, and they're looking to pick up where they left off. If I tell you what I know, you'll be killed. Nancy, if I help you, I'm pushing you right to whoever has lured you there. Oh. I can handle myself. What? Your mother said the same thing. What information could mom have that's so important? I believe that you'll end up getting yourself killed by asking the wrong person the wrong question. Was anyone following oh, you? Okay. Hide. Now! Run! To the elevator! 
Whoa, what? This one is nuts. Just leave them. <laughs> what? What? This one is this one seems even wilder than having an Irish ghost with a jetpack. Pre-order begins September 2013. Ten years ago. <laughs> Damn, okay, so the next one's gonna be wild. Got it. That leaves one, two, three, four games left. Four Nancy's left. Until we are back to Midnight in Salem. I feel like I kind of want to play Midnight in Salem again, but we'll see. They are working on their new, new game. We'll have to see when that comes out, how the timing works. But if we finish all of them and then the new game still isn't out, then I think I want to play the Salem game one. Salem game one again. Sentences are hard. <laughs>